want to shout out to our Patreon supporters, Boonji Fox and Odie Chatfield. Thank you very much, both of you. Boonji, you fluffy numkin. Odie Chatfield, you super numkin. You're both very num, and we really do appreciate the love that has allowed us to keep making videos here. It goes a long way to help us. It really does. Secondly, shout out to our producer, Alice, of course. She is an amazing numkin. She helps keep this channel going, and her links are on screen right now. This video should go up in time, so we'll be streaming Grounded together on Monday, so come and check out me and Alice playing that. Also, very importantly, warning on this video. I didn't include a teaser because this game kind of speaks for itself. This is an incredibly dark and depressing game you're about to watch. It has uh, references to self-harm, suicide, uh, incredibly gory sequences, um, and it's just really, really messed up. Animal cruelty as well, it's just not nice. Nothing about this game is nice. This is an experience, not an enjoyable one, but an experience nonetheless. So you have been warned, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy, in the loosest possible terms, this game. It's Martha is Dead. It was recorded from Twitch, but no alerts are on, and I made sure to trim out as much audience interaction as I could. Enjoy! Recording now. This is Martha is Dead. I do have streamer mode on, uh, so the licensed music should be muted. I can say that there. It's always a bit darker on stream, so I have to make it a bit brighter. The story of Martha is Dead and its featured characters are a work of fiction. The game contains potentially uncomfortable scenes and covers topics that may distress some players. The game is recommended for an adult audience and carries the appropriate age rating. As an adult narrative drama, the game uses artistic interpretations that can be visually unsettling and may cause discomfort. It explores the complexities of the human mind, psychological trauma, and self-harm. The game is not recommended for players who find depictions of mature scenes containing blood, dismemberment, disfigurement of human bodies, and self-harm disturbing. We're playing this on max settings, by the way, guys, so it should look pretty pretty. Pretty pretty. Ciao. I'm Julia. Julia Kay. I'm glad you are here. Nobody has visited me in ages. It's been years now. I must tell you my story, but... I don't know where to begin. There is so much that... I should start from my childhood, but my memories of these times are vague. I only remember the summer of 1929, when they sent me off to stay with my nanny. Nanny? Will you tell me the story of the White Lady? No, Little Sparrow. Not tonight. A fog is coming, see? Yes. I know that when it's foggy, the lady kills young women. But why is she so evil? You see, Julia, pain and suffering can make us do evil things, even if we're not actually bad. Just like soldiers have to kill other soldiers. I like the lady I've decided, Nanny. She must be in so much pain. The poor dear. She still scares me a little, though. Soon I'll be a young woman, and she could kill me. Does she kill those who love her? Of course not. That makes me feel better because I love her. But what about Martha? Would she be in danger? Your sister is with your mother, so do not worry. Do you miss them? No. I mean... Yes, I miss Martha a little, but I love spending time with you. Now, go to sleep, little sparrow. It's getting late. Okay, Nanny. I'll go to sleep and dream of the lady. Was she beautiful? She was beautiful. Yes, very much so. Then she'll be beautiful in my dreams. And will I be beautiful just like her? You'll be even more beautiful. Listen, Nanny. Since the lady won't harm me because I love her, and since you're not a young woman, could it's you tell shamed. me her story, even if it's foggy outside? Please. Oh, please. Then I'll sleep. 
I promise. Oh, all right. You always get your own way. I loved Nanny and I loved that story. Every time I heard it, it sounded like a new and more mesmerizing tale. Every night I would ask her to tell me about it, even though it scared me. Even now I can remember every single day of that time and how happy I was. According to an ancient legend, the lakes of the area are haunted by the spirit of a young woman who was killed by the man she loved. Oh, a lovely kid story. Beautiful. She was expecting a lover's stroll by the lake, gazing out at the old tree growing on the lake's island. So much hope and desire, but death, not love, was awaiting her. Oh, I got Aww. dialogue choices. The poor dear. That's not fair. Life isn't fair, Poppet. But that's the way it is. And we must learn to deal with it. Okay, I'll try. But it makes me so mad. Keep on reading, Nanny. In despair, the man confessed he had killed her out of jealousy. These pictures are creepy. So, he was hanged on the small island, in the middle of the very same lake where he had killed the girl. They searched everywhere, but the girl's body was never found. Since then, her spirit, known as the White Lady, has been imprisoned in the depths of the lake. She grieves eternally for the loss of the man she loved. When fog arises, the White Lady is known to leave the waters of the lake and roam the woods, looking for her long lost love in vain. Within the fog of dawn, hunters have claimed to hear the wailing of a woman in the distance. Let's I'm a little up. scared of this story, even though I like the lady. Should I stop reading, my little sparrow? No, Nanny. Daddy always tells me that fear must be faced. Go ahead. Okay, honey. Every time the sad memory of the night she perished stirs in her soul, she takes the life of a young woman by slaying such a life in its youth. Even just for an instant, the lady feels free from the burden of her pain. Good night, Nanny. Good Sweet night, dreams about woman killing you. Ha ha ha. This loading screen's interesting. I spent almost three years with the nanny, but when I came home, I quickly forgot how to be happy. My memories do not return until 15 years later, in 1944, when I stayed in that house. I enjoyed setting up cameras in the woods by the lake. My father created a device that attached to the cameras. It would make them take pictures at set intervals. I was trying to photograph animals, or whatever else was in that damned place. Okay. The lake. Very interesting control so far, by the way. You have to, like, hold down the button to do anything. Reel off the film. Okay. This is gonna have quick time, isn't it? Open the camera. Remove the old roll of film. Mm -hmm. 
shove that in the hole. Film in. Close the camera. Load the film. Activate the timer. I guess this must have been pretty revolutionary at the time in 1944. I'm not Almost really sure. Ready. Now to bring the image into focus. There's something floating on the surface of the water. If I frame it better, I might be able to see what it is. It's the way it's the woman. It's literally the body of the woman. Or a woman anyway. What? Is that a person? I must help them. I was horrified at the idea that someone might have drowned in my lake. The lake was my world, where I would spend entire days daydreaming. I would lose myself in my thoughts, but that was a rude awakening. So terrible. Oh, it's my clothes off. No big deal. She's just dead. <gasps> I instantly noticed that the person was wearing one of my dresses. I was scared. I dragged that lifeless body as best as I could to the shore, trying not to drown myself. Only when I lifted her in my arms did I realize who she was. It was my sister, my twin, a part of me, dead. Impossible to comprehend. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do or to think. So I guess this is Martha? I have to stay calm. Oh God, she does not look good. Martha is not dead. She's probably dead. It's not possible. Do CPR! Do something! Like, just fucking... It's not true. There's no need to worry. Everything is fine. Everything will be fine. Yeah, this is Robert. February 26th, 1923. I'm not sure that everything is going to be fine main character whose name I've already forgotten. Is everything okay? Are you hurt? What are you doing? Go, Eric. Run. This is in Italy, by My the way. My parents for those ran of you who don't towards know. me. My mother hugged me. She, who detested me, was now cuddling me. Her warmth filled me with life, and the pain became bearable. I felt protected. Martha, are you okay? She asked me, speaking slowly in order to let me read her lips. She thought I was deaf. She thought I was Martha. I didn't want the moment to fade, so I meekly nodded my head. I didn't realize I had done something that couldn't be undone. Oh, hang on. Is she gonna? I is she gonna to pretend to be Martha forever? Oh fuck! So she takes over her twin's identity.
Oh my god. Praying is pointless. It's just a way of soothing your conscience by trying to ease the pain. Damn right. But I don't want the pain to ease. What would I be left with then? Mewi, did you remember to light the candles in the hall? People will be here soon. So no one gave a fuck Mommy about the other sister. something for everyone to do. Press space to highlight points of interest. Oh, that's nice. Can we shut the fucking radio up, please? Because I fucking hate it. I can't turn it off. We have to listen to the radio all of the time. Oh, well, I Any don't... news and announcements can be vital. I guess this is still during the Second World War? For a few more months, maybe? Question mark? July 17th, 1944. When did the Second World War end? Like, I know 1944, but what date? family is deeply day? saddened and is thinking of you during this extremely difficult time. Ernesto E. and family. July 17th, 1944. 1945 our hearts are with ended. you and okay. we share your grief in the wake of the tragic loss of your dearest Julia. So this is in the middle Monsignor of the Second World Atelier War. D. And we are on the Axis side, I guess. July well, 17th, as a country, anyway. 1944, Ministry of War. Director General for Conscripts and NCOs. We are grieving over your sudden loss and we send you our heartfelt condolences. The Lieutenant Colonel Rapporteur. Some thrilling. An old painting. I find it so sad. It communicates a sense of deep solitude to me. There's no reason to use the phone right now. I just want to make sure I've got streamer mode on, guys, or in case it reset. I think it's still on, but yeah, streamer mode is on. Okay, cool. So music that is li uh, copy uh, licensed will be removed. Oh, is this our bike? I don't need that right now. I think you should take it anyway. Just run around the house with a bike. Daddy's canes. They are so beautiful, but I can't say why, but they have always scared me. The only way people could tell Martha and me apart was by dressing differently. Even Mother couldn't tell us apart. Oh, this and I had my clothes off. Of grandpa's. I always loved his paintings. As a child, I used to look at them for hours. That's actually really cool, like, the attention to detail and stuff so far. Books, books, and more books. In our villa, there must be ten times more than even here. What am I doing with this? Daddy's oboe. We were preparing a really nice duet together. On the rare occasions he's at home, that is. Oh, it's a lighter? That's a weird fucking lighter. I've never seen anything like that before. Go. I wonder how much of like a shock to her ego it is. What little she had. Or send Martha if you like. <sighs> Never a moment's peace. Even at a time like this, she can't sit still for a second. I can't believe she took over her sister's identity and didn't say anything. That's really fucking nuts. Everything always has to be perfect with her. What the fuck do these go? Londra. Trasmettiamo alcuni messaggi speciali. Felice non è felice. È cessata la pioggia. Like I'd assume it goes somewhere around here, but I I don't know. Parla Londra. Dad, take the fucking flowers. Shove them up your ass or something. Aha. Uh -huh. It's a welcoming flower pot. I understand now. Boom. Perfect. <gasps> Dun. What's happening? 
You close the door. What? Erich, Erich, wake up. Do you think it's appropriate to sleep here? Of all places. He's sleeping next to his what? daughter's body. Hmm? Yes. I must have fallen asleep. What are they talking about? You can't stay here forever. Why don't you go to bed? No, no. I want to stay with my daughter. Your daughter? Your daughter? You have another daughter, you know. Oh my god, the what a bitch. The one who's still alive. Remember? What the one are you like? talking about, Irena? Julia is dead. What kind of comment is that? How can you? You should be thinking about Martha. Julia harmed Martha. You know that, right? And as if that were not enough, she has now also abandoned her. It's the same old story. At least the dad's on our Everything side of it. Is I know it's not. Another thing it's another thing we're the other side, isn't but it? it's confusing, but you know what I mean. Her fault for Martha being deaf and for you being in Oh, she has to pretend to be deaf? Do you think it's the right time for this? Julia is dead, Irena. Dead. Oh my god. Someone This is an elaborate lie to keep up. Do you realize that? Of course I realize. I get it. Do you think I'm stupid? No one understands it better than me. She always brought problems. Only problems. It would have been better if she hadn't been born at all. You're crazy. I'm the crazy one? Me? Picture of Jesus there, by the way. His younger days. Done this to get at me, yes. Your death is all my fault. All I could ever do for you was hurt you, Julia. My poor, sweet, crazy girl. What will I do without you? What will life be like now? All the time I didn't spend with you. But now I'm home. We can go fishing together. We can take pictures of butterflies. No. We can't do anything together anymore, can we? Nothing. I miss you, Julia. I miss you. This is really fucked up. While American bombings continue to devastate the peaceful towns within the Elsa Valley, we have heard some tragic news from the area of La Ramola. The young daughter of German Army General Erich K. was murdered near her home. What possible reason could there have been behind such a cowardly act? This is what the Carabinieri, who immediately intervened, hoped to find out. Mother didn't seem to suffer from the situation. All she cared about was that my death was so painful for Martha. But not having me around anymore must have been a great relief to her. At the end of the day, it was better for everyone that it was me who died. And it was better for me too that people thought that. But the guilt began to consume me. That's when I started having horrible nightmares. Right, this is like a puzzle, shit. Martha has lost her. Like, no, Martha has lost her soul. Are you fucking kidding me?
uh, they? Nope. I. Stole. Her. Life. Oh, what the fuck? I stole her identity. She ended up in the fucking lake in the first place, right? You guys ready for some fun? We need a face. We need a face! I was wondering, I don't think that's the bit that Sony has censored, by the way. It's going to get quite considerably worse as we go through this. That was, that was the baby steps. That was the baby steps to the worst stuff. <laughs> it was just a dream. A horrible dream. That horrendous woman and the face of my sister. I wish all of this was a dream and my sister is just sleeping in her bed. Instead, her bed is empty and this is reality. Hang on, are you in her bed though? Like if you change rooms, that would be weird. That's like a bit of a giveaway, right? This is Martha and me at the festival of the patron saint. It was only a few months ago and now... They do look really alike though, right? Martha had asked for a picture of me to put in this frame. She wanted me to do one of those expressions of mine that made her laugh. Expressions that she couldn't quite imitate. She used to say that those were the signs of my soul. Can a photo capture the soul? Can I capture Martha's soul? New chapter, The Room. This is Martha's trinket box. It could contain something that will help to figure out what happened. She decided to go for a swim and realised that she couldn't. The end. Martha's clothes. To me, wearing them will be like having her with me. Mummy will also be happy to see them. Or I could wear my clothes in the other wardrobe. Let's wear Martha's clothes. The you elegant well go. dress. No, I'll never hear the end of it from Mother. Let's go, let's go. We might as well fully commit to the massive fucking lie, so let's go on with it.
Right. Oh, this is both our rooms. I see. So this half, it was like a half-half room. I don't like that very much. That's kind of creepy. It's July 18th. Oh gosh, if Mummy sees this picture, she'll throw it away for sure. It's me and Lapo. I want to see him as soon as possible so we can mourn Martha's death together. Who is Lapo? A boyfriend? A butterfly collection that Daddy made for me. How old is this character? Uh, she was out doing her own shit, but she's still like living at home and stuff. But I don't know how common that was at this period, you know what I mean? I'm already dressed. Oh, yeah. It's me with the nanny. Or maybe it was Martha. No one can remember. That is a pretty creepy picture there. We need to find the key to Martha's um, thing, right? This is our thing. I always keep my trinket box locked. Well, it looked like Martha did too. Yeah, there's a lock on it, right? So we need to find a key hiding somewhere. Maybe check her body, you know? I can't remember the button to highlight spots of interest. I've already forgotten it. This is a good start, guys. Hmm. Everything I need is always in my bag. Hang on, why is it changed to Before controller? I leave what? the room, I should probably take a good look around. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, can someone fix Moobot, please? Oh my god, it actually is the B button. What the fuck? It's not- it wasn't glitched. It's actually the B button. Okay, I'm an idiot. You've opened Julia's bag. Here you can find objects that Julia always carries with her, along with the things you pick up during the game. Objects are listed at the bottom left. Select an object to use or analyze it. Now try selecting the key or the map. Oh, the key we'll to the key my trinket now. box. Oh, that's the her trinket box. Okay, well, let's open that. Here is my diary. July 12th, 1944. This is a new diary. We moved here today and I forgot my old one back at home. Did she draw this? But it's pretty that's good. okay. A new chapter in my life. A new diary. They say they brought us here for our own safety. Daddy, the war, and everything else. Nanny gave us her house and she went to look after the mansion. It's weird being back here after so many years. I remember Nanny telling me the fairy tale of the Lady of the Lake. It's one of the few happy memories I have from when I was little. Nanny isn't here, and that's Oh, a shame, so they've evacuated their bigger home with me. because of fear of bombs, I, I guess. I also get to see Lapo more often, which is wonderful. He's always hanging around here. Mum is thankfully too preoccupied with fixing up the house to worry about me. At least for now. July 16th, 1944. There's something creepy about the woods. Every time I'm at the lake, I get a strange feeling. Maybe it's the legend of the white lady playing tricks on me. I get weird ideas. I think that there is this presence. Then I think I'm just being crazy. Anyway, crazy or not, I want to take some pictures. I'm not scared. In fact, I'd say I'm excited. I've made arrangements with Martha. She's coming to the lake with me tomorrow to set up two new cameras with timers, and we'll see what we can photograph. Not before a good swim, of course. To be honest, Martha doesn't like photography all that much, and recently she's gone off swimming too. But she does like spending time with me by teasing me. Then, when she gets bored, she disappears into her books, and I do my own thing. We feel right when we're together. Okay, so that's fairly normal, I would say. Both these things, both the pages in there. Yes, Huey, I'll be right there. I'm just going upstairs to call Martha down for breakfast. Fine, but I'm not sure we should let her sleep all day. What do you think? What did you say? 
Okay, okay, I won't wake her up. I'll, I'll just turn on her light. So when she wakes up, she'll know when to come down for breakfast. They really think I'm Martha and I can't hear them. I need to be careful not to talk or I will be in serious trouble. Oh, for fuck's sake, this is so weird. The fact that we are just going along with this massive fucking lie is unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Oh, wow, this is a big map as well. This is this open world, is it going to be? Like, what the fuck? It's huge. Okay, well, interesting anyway. How wonderful the snow is. Unfortunately, it doesn't snow often around here. As I say, snow in Italy sounds pretty rare to me. Like, maybe if you're not high up, but still. It's locked. Strange. Why did they lock my room? As a child, when I spent those short years with the nanny, this was my room. But aren't I sleeping in that room with my sister? That's so weird. I don't get it. Martha's breakfast is ready. We can go. Yes, yes. It's getting late. Did you leave the newspaper for Martha? You know how much she likes reading it. Yes, Irena. It's on the table. Can't you see? And that camera? Are you leaving it there? Yes, Irena. Can't you leave it there for a few more days? Do you mind? It was for you. I feel really bad for the dad because she's not telling him that she's alive. Uh, I promise. And he obviously cared about Yulia a lot. Sword makes me so sad. Seeing it there is as if... I don't know how to explain it. All right, all right, all right. But let's go now. We have too much to do. We can't stay here all day talking. Mummy is right, though. Martha always read everything. It's me who will now read the newspaper instead. They'll be out all day. The funeral preparations will take them a long time. Everything is more complex with the war. Over the next few days, I will see little to nothing of them. Brutal assassination in San Casciano. Julia Kay, a young woman from a respectable family, Brutally murdered near her home. Hang on, she was murdered? Carabinieri investigates. A possible political motive emerges. Martha was not killed by politics or war. She was killed by something much closer and much less clear. I will find out the I truth. thought she drowned, but she was murdered? Julia Kay. Distressed but supported by faith. Irene E. the mother, Erich the father, and Martha the sister sadly announced Julia's passing. The funeral will take place in La Romola, Thursday, July 20th at 9.30pm, departing from the property of the deceased. Question as well, right? So let's say somebody did kill, well, someone killed Martha, right? She's taken over Martha's identity. Aren't, might they come back and try and kill her? You know what I mean? If that was a targeted murder, let's say. They're like, oh shit, I killed the wrong one because they look alike. Fuck. You know, better make up for it. First improvements in food registration. Bread rations increased by 50 grams per day as of April 20th. A kilo more every month of soup ingredients. Reforms to the treatment of agricultural workers and an unexpected distribution of jam. Oh my god, jam. Oh my god. Firm bulwark even in the skies. 159 aircraft of the Germanic defence shot down in 24 hours. Major Russian operation northwest of Jassy. Enemy convoy lost in the Mediterranean. Two destroyers and six merchant vessels sunk. Hmm. All right, let's uh, close this for now. K is objectives. The camera. The newspaper. Read newspaper. Uh, okay, I, I, I guess I didn't do that fully. The frame. I must put one of my photos in the empty frame. I always said to Martha I would, but never did. Okay, and the camera. I like to have the camera with me when you least expect the opportunity. The perfect shot presents itself. The one that father left on the table would work well. Isn't that just your camera? For Julia, 
to take more and more photos. Dad. I can verify that the camera is still working by taking a photo. I could photograph a sparrow. There are so many of them out here. Okay. Brutal assassination in San Casciano. Julia Kay, a young woman from a respectable family, brutally murdered near her home. Carabinieri investigates. A possible political motive emerges. I can't look at this one again or this one again. So that must be everything, right? Yeah, I can't look at anything else. All right, just just leave it then. I guess we can go and take a picture of a sparrow. What is this? There might be birds around the little wall in front of the house. I always put crumbs on it for them. Why can't I look at that? During deep winter, I would go to sleep snuggled by the fire and Nanny would get angry. Do you want to turn into a piece of charcoal, Julia? Oh yeah, that's well. Oh my god, that's a million times better. All right, let's go and take a picture of a sparrow. Oh my god, it's like a different game with motion blur off. What the fuck? Julia's bike can be used to get to locations faster. Okay. Yeah, motion blur was really fucking this up. Jesus Christ. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, that's great and everything. But I, I wanted to check, I, I wanted to skip the tutorial. Just skip, just... No, no, I don't, I don't want to... No! No! Okay. Okay. Oh wow, you can do quite a lot with this. Oh, you can do loads of shit. You could like change the exposure and everything. What the fuck? I don't know what that arrow means. Oh, click the arrow here. Ah, here, there we go. Find cameras add-ons. We've got a hundred film. All right. Beautiful. Taking your first photo, you can shoot as many photos as you want through the game, but remember that only a few are critical to the story's progress. Soon you'll learn how to develop the photos you've taken. All right. All right, my objective. Try the camera. Look at the map. Okay, we've got to go to the garden, which is just directly in front of us down here. So there's no need for us to take the bike. We're going to throw ourselves off this cliff into the garden. Oh my god. I don't think we can. This is the centre of our farm, but since we moved here, it hasn't worked like it used to. Security matters, Daddy says. I hear the birds. Oh, is it literally just up there I was meant to be? Whoops. I think it, I was actually just meant to be up there taking the picture. Aha! There's the birds. Alright. I've forgotten how to bring the camera up already, guys. There's too many buttons. Q for the, that. Okay, got it. Ooh, 
Will this just count? Maybe? But I, I did. Oh, I'm not in the... Fuck's sake, I've got to be in the circle. I've got to be in the circle. Oh my god, there's even a thing of what I have to do. I'm an idiot. No. Too distant and out of focus. Okay. Subject framed. How do I change the focus? Uh huh. There you go. Excellent. There we go. We did I've it. Taken the picture. Now it's straight to the dark room in the cellar to print it. All right. Now we need to go and develop our pictures. Cool. Daddy recently became a general in the German army. He used to take pictures on the front lines, but now he gives me the materials to take photographs instead. Now that Martha is gone, only this camera can fix my ideas and my memories. I can't allow myself to forget. Oggi Bonsi, on the day of Saint Alexis, the battle rages in the city tormented by Anglo-American bombing. Our Lady of Carmel, it sounds like they're still getting Richard, bombed, by the way, from these radio messages. Forcing the French to retreat to Piazza del Mercato. The situation is currently under control. Where the fuck is the basement? In the cell, do you think the cellar might be like a separate entrance or some shit? I guess I'm gonna have to go and look around the house for the fucking cellar because I've absolutely no idea where the fucking thing is. This place is nowhere near as big as I thought it was. To be fair, like, like I said, they had they have a much bigger house, but this is the nanny's house they're living in temporarily to make sure they're away from the war itself and not getting bombed. Haha. -ha. We are so lucky. In these difficult times, pantries are empty and people are going hungry. But with a German general for a father, food is never scarce. Okay. I see. Take the scissors. Take them. We can't actually Mummy's use them. medicine. Will they do her any good? Doesn't look like they're doing her much good to be Mommy's honest with you. Mummy's sewing machine. She learnt how to sew because nobody else could do it to her liking. You gonna take this? Could use it to cut someone's These face could off. Be of use to me. Lorenzini haberdashery. Five meters of grey cotton fabric. Six meters of white linen fabric. Four meters of green satin. Delivered on June 5th, 1944. In the event of an issue, contact us on the number 6987. And this red fabric? It's not been mentioned. Could this also be one of Mummy's, or could the nanny have left it here? Why is there blood here? Or is it wine? It's probably wine. Our wine. Daddy is so proud of it. Not going to comment on the wine? No. The, on the uh, broken wine things, I mean. Right, let's go to the dark room. Wherever the fuck that is.
These workbenches fascinate me. I would love to learn carpentry. This is where Nanny's husband made my dolls. Is this not the cellar? This looks like a cellar to me. So if this is a cellar, there's the darkroom. Aha, I'm blind. All right, time to develop the picture of the bird. Daddy set up his darkroom here. He doesn't take photos anymore because of his work, but photography is still his true passion. I'm allowed to use the darkroom when I want to. There are three baths when developing photos. The development bath, then the first rinse, and then the fixing bath. The second rinse is done directly in the sink afterwards. Oh god, I'm gonna fuck this up. What is this? I'm not familiar with this kind of stuff at all. To develop a photo, if you have to use the enlarger, okay. After shooting a photo, the film might be developed in several steps. The aspects have been made for the sake of simplicity, even rather the steps are as follows. Okay, I don't need to know the real steps. Choose the image you want to print to paper. The preview on the left side will help you choose. Alright, well we need to develop this picture. I don't care about I don't care about magnifying it more, I just want to continue the story. When the three circles are aligned, the picture is focused. If you see the image out of focus when aligned, you probably shot it that way. Play with the adjustment until you're happy, and when you're ready, press space to continue. There we go. And now I need to do that one more time. There you go. When the red fill is removed, the image is exposed on the paper. The process has been automated. I don't care about real life. You don't have to explain to me that this is different in real life. It's a video game. <laughs> okay, good. Brilliant. Immerse the paper in the developer and the image will appear. To achieve ideal exposure, take the paper out of the developer and the timer is in the green zone. Oh god, I fucking hate developing pictures in video games. It's the most tedious fucking shit. In real life immersion, I don't care. Here's my printed photo. You can keep it in the album or scrap it. You can print each shot as many times photograph. as you like. It seems that the camera works perfectly. Okay. Now I can take a self-timed photo for Martha's frame. All right, yeah, because we need to take a picture of ourselves, right? Just got the achievement, the Hierophant. All right, so now I need to... A tripod is needed. A tripod would be useful to put the camera on. There should be one in the basement. Okay, let's find a tripod then. Let's go. Voila. Camera is set up with the self timer. Okay, perfect. Then we could just sit in the chair and take a beautiful picture of ourselves. Uh, let's do smiling, because we want to make it a nice picture. And Marth Martha would appreciate it. I know that we're now Martha, but actual Martha would appreciate it, right? You know what I mean? That's what I feel. What the fuck does that mean? Oh, I, put, I took the film out. Okay, we'll leave that there and just go develop the film. Got it. What if she's also in the picture, do you think? Do you think both of us are going to be in the picture or some shit? That would be fucking great. It's always a thrill to develop a photo. 
You can't see anything at first, yet something invisible is captured on the black film. Oh, this is going to be bad. Ghost. This is going to be bad. That invisible breath this in is... the oh my God. the reality from which it was Stop torn. foreshadowing there so are much. There those who say that photography steals the soul or captures it. That's why they used to photograph the dead. Uh, okay. But nowadays, almost nobody does it anymore. Even what is this? Just an illusion, I want to photograph Martha. I want to have a small reflection of who she was with me. But I have to do it secretly or they'll think I'm crazy. What happened to this picture? Surely it's going to be worse after development, right? Oh, look up there. Oh, my God. That is so uncanny valley. Holy shit. Yes, this is me. No one was ever able to tell us apart. But okay. I never had the slightest doubt and nor did Martha. It's strange how what identifies us most deeply is not visible to anyone. This is, this is I was obsessively dodgy. thinking about Martha and what had happened, but suddenly a thought took control. The memory of that day at the lake was becoming more and more like a dream when, after awakening, the image becomes more and more faded. Could it be that the memories were a figment of the mind? Had I been the one that hurt my sister? I had always envied her and now I had taken her identity. I experienced a suffocating pattern of thoughts. I decided to go straight to the lake to retrieve the film rolls. They would tell a different story, I was sure. Oh yeah, because but the... deep down, I kept oh, hoping shit. they would confirm my fading Because we memory. left the f camera at the lake. The camera at the lake was taking those pictures constantly, like the automatic, like every like one minute thing. Locked. The keys aren't hanging on the lock as usual. Then they will be in Daddy's study. We live in fear now. My parents are not going to let me go to the lake anymore after Martha's death. So this is the right time. I need to know. The self-doubt I feel is eating me up. So we've got to go and see what was captured. Why is our sister's body still- Oh my god. Oh my god, really? <laughs> oh! I oh, no, that's not possible. It must be this whole situation making me see things that don't exist. It's dark and I can't turn on the lights. It's dangerous. I'll need a flash for okay, the camera. Okay, we need a flash for the camera I to take pictures of our dead sister. I can look for Daddy's things in the room below his bedroom. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. We are fucking batshit crazy. Like, it's actually impressive. What did I just pick up there? Oh, a new skin for the camera. Okay, great. <laughs> We're, we're like fucking insane. It's actually impressive. I don't know where our daddy's uh, bedroom is now though. Like I have no idea. That's my old room that's locked. That's... I have no idea where daddy's bedroom is. These are all locked. I guess this is the study. Yeah it is. Alright, there's the flash. But apparently I can't grab it yet. Yeah, I need to look at this. Daddy's stuff. War maps. I've heard everything will play out on this new defensive line. It's gonna go well, I'm sure. Here's the camera flash. Now I can photograph Martha even in the dark. Wonderful. Particularly healthy, right? I need the key from in here too, right? All right, let's go and uh, take a picture of our dead sister, and then uh, we'll take it from there. <laughs> the camera can be used in very dark lighting by attaching the flash. Yeah, I just got it. Thank you.
So this is just like normal healthy sibling behavior, by the way. So um, it says two dot, but I just, how do I, isn't the flash on? Do I need to attach it first? Let's just make sure. I want to see if I need to attach it first. All right, hang on. No, I already attached it, right? Let me just check. Yeah, I did. I attached it. Okay. I guess it'll just be like, it, it'll light up when I take the picture, maybe? That's what a flash does, right? Like, even then. It's very hard to tell where I should be focusing when I'm focusing here. Okay, in focus. No, but how do, okay, how do I use the flash? Oh, is it in like the adjustment section? It might be. There you go. Ah, there we go. Okay, that's how you do it. That makes a lot more sense. All right. Done. It would be nice to have you always by my side, even if it's just Yeah, this is picture. completely healthy behavior. This is completely healthy and excellent behavior. Where's the front door? Here. All right, down to the lake we go to see what if we captured our sister getting murdered on fucking camera, like a complete fucking deranged lunatic. Oh, we can use the bike, right? It said. Is the bike here? Or at night time do we not have a bike? I guess we don't have a bike at night time. Someone's eaten it. The forest is very dark. The lighter will not be enough. Better to use the gas lamp. Okay, where do I get a gas lamp from? The lamp is my objective now. It's usually within at the entrance. Oh fuck's sake. Alright. Okay, they go full amnesia. <laughs> Sound like me when I fart, actually, that. Martha's not going to be pissed off with this anyway. She'll probably be totally fine with us completely assuming our identity and taking on the role as the favourite sister. Right? And it's only like she got murdered or something. I should have no idea where I'm going. Um, where is the lake? I actually don't know where the lake is on this map. Oh, hang on. There's a zoom out thing, isn't there? Okay, so we're going the right way. We've got to head down this way. The camera's at the lake. There's three of them. Got it. We've got a nice jaunt through the woods, guys. Can't wait. I love the night. But this night scares me. In the dark, I can feel all the harm I've caused. It's getting closer with each step. I feel it brushing up against me like a cold wind. I uh, hurt Martha. The closer I get to the oh, night, the more certain I am of this. Hi Martha, how's it how going? How could it not be? I killed her to steal the love that everyone felt for her but didn't feel for me. How could I have done such a thing? It's like our dad's helmet or some shit. I wish at night time it just put the flash on. That feels like something that should be like a simple thing. You know? Hang on, how is it too dark? I turned the thing on. What is that noise? Oh, okay. Hang on. How do I look around again? 
I don't, I don't know any of this shit. Ah, I see. There we go. German soldiers. Daddy ordered patrols to be carried out near the house, but how could they have lost a helmet? God only knows. Alright, this isn't good. Nothing about this is a good situation. This is very, very narrative driven though. I didn't expect this at all from, from it, you know what I mean? Like, this is not what I expected of this game. I don't even know what I expected of this game, because, like, I hadn't really seen much of it. But I didn't expect any of this. Like, this is a very, like, serious narrative game. By the way, the default language of this game is Italian, but I set it to English because, uh, I'm... Oh no! Damn lamp! I Luckily just... I still have my lighter with me. <gasps> oh god. Hi, Martha! The right, cameras, the cameras are somewhere around here. I mean, there's one literally in front of you. I need to collect all three Two cameras. cameras left. Yeah, yeah. I need to know which way to go, though, so let's look at the map again. Alright, so back up this way. This is the furthest south one. where she died, right? Is this the one we were fucking around with as she died? I'm not sure. A shred of fabric here in the woods. How strange. Let's take a photo of it. One more camera to collect. Oh, thanks for, thanks for talking over yourself there. That's pretty impressive. Alright. Up here. Oh, it, it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll keep we'll keep track of it. That's probably a, a murder clue or some shit. Good old murder clues, huh? Oh, I went past the other one. So the other one's like like across this little river, then just down south. Although I don't see a path. Let me just get back over this again. Looks like it's like a hut maybe here. This is where we got the first one. How do I get there? Because I can't walk into the woods, it won't let me. Maybe there's a path from that beach actually, like along the, the seafront. That's worth this, the waterfront, I guess. That's worth a shot. Skip ba ba da ba ba. Yeah, like here. Yeah, there we go. It's probably right. There it is. Genius. Now this is where she died. Like right here. This is where we pulled her out of the water. That's it. I've got them all. These films are going to help me understand what happened. Now I should rush home to develop them. Do you guys hear the... Oh god, the game lagged to fuck them when it saved. It like fucking teleported me. When it auto saves, the game really stutters. Now, where the fuck am I going? This way, yeah, this is the way back. Alright, let's get back out of here for now, anyway. Great, wonderful. Julia. Oh, hi! <laughs> How's it going, sis? Uh, my name's Martha, actually. I'm running. I'm fucking booking it! 
Book it, book it, book it, book it, book it, book it. Where the fuck is the way out? This way, probably. I don't remember. Oh, this is great. What? We're actually being chased by her right now, I think. Fuck! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Don't run into the wall! She's right behind me. She's right fucking behind me. Just keep going up. Are we in a trench? What the fuck is this? I don't remember this. We are, we are so dead. Um, why are there skulls everywhere here? What the fuck is this shit? I think it's I think it's safe to say that we are now completely losing our shit. Beautiful. Some interesting imagery in this game. We have shrunk as well. Significantly. That might be a glitch, I'm not sure. But we're a kid? We're a kid now. Yeah, we're a kid now. Oh god, the fucking- I've heard that sound effect so many times. She had such a lovely smile. person piss at the moment. Oh god, that's fucking oh 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 no oh Stop peeing, please! It's drowning me! It's very rude of you. <sighs> oh, yet another nightmare. Um, what's on the bed? She entered my dreams once more. Maybe she wants to talk to me. What am I saying? Fairy tales coming true. Yet I feel... No, no, these are the thoughts of a crazy person, and I'm not crazy. <laughs> oh, okay. I understand now. Yes. Oh, damn it, what's all this blood? I'm not due yet, and there's a lot more than usual. What's hmm. happening to me? Am I going to be joining Martha sooner than I thought? I have to wash up and do what needs to be done. If I'm sick, I have little time. The truth awaits me. It must be hidden within those walls. Alright, what's my objective? I left, develop the rolls of film, change underwear, take the bag with the cameras and roll of film, and dress yourself. Let's just be weird today and dress like, uh, our, uh, uh, like our dead sister. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. What am I thinking? I would stain my clothes with blood. Oh, okay. We need to change our underwear first, I guess. I'm just going to hold this with us. I guess we can have a bath quickly. Can we? Can we shower or wash up at least or something? No? No? Oh, he's the bidet. I'm not used to having a bidet, sorry. That's better. But I still don't understand all of that. 
blood. That's never happened to me before. But I'm not going to tell my doctor. Otherwise, he'll make me stay in bed and rest. The elegant dress. That's not no, elegant. It's just I'll a fucking never hear the shirt. End of it from mother. Alright, we're dressed like our dead sister now. Great. Um. It's very rude, but I could pick up the phone and listen to their conversation. Damn fucking right you're going to. How are you doing today, Rennie? I'm worried, Father. Very worried. We found more partisan tracks in the woods, right next to the house. That Lapo. I suspect he may be involved in the death of- No, please don't say that. It's, it's not possible. I know the boy, and I don't... Father, anything is possible in these dark times. Anything. That boy didn't even come to say goodbye to Julia. Didn't they love each other dearly? He must be terribly scared, and Julia always used to say that. Yeah, sure, she used to say they were just friends, but you know too, right? Friends are not supposed to do such things, Father. Or are they? But anyway, you're defending them both. You, my husband, and even the nanny who... Deep down is a good woman. The nanny. I believe the nanny is the one who hurt Julia. With her evil passion for those cards, they are cursed Oh things. my god. I hope you made them disappear. Of course. I keep them safe in well, my Well, we room. need to get those cards. Anyway, you must forgive me, Father. I have to go. They've come to pick me up. Have a good day. You too. Lapo's involved in Martha's death. My mother is losing her mind again. I wouldn't put it past him. How could anyone him? even imagine such nonsense? And Donatilio, he is a great friend, but what a weird thing. How about view. Donatello? Those is he a cards he's a are just a game. But most importantly, the they're mine. Archbishop Why on earth did they take them from me? The Alright, so I've got a. Terror cards. Find the tarot cards. Mommy took my tarot cards. Nanny and I used to play with them. They may be hidden, but who knows where. I could start looking at my parents from, okay? And then we need to develop the roles of film as well. Well, our parents' rooms open up here, and they don't seem to be up here, so let's go and rob them blind, right? From this moment on, it is forbidden for anyone to leave their homes and walk the streets of San Cassiano. Dear Mother, this is hard, but I have something to tell you. I found out that Julia is pregnant. What? Go to the lake tomorrow morning at 7 and watch her as she bathes. You'll see that her tummy is growing. Martha. What the fuck? I'm not pregnant. What a twit. Why is, she... is everything becoming even more What confusing? the fuck is going on? I'm searching for an explanation, but instead I'm left with more questions. This is really weird shit. Herberton again. I feel like these pills do nothing other than agitate her. They're 21. Well, I mean, one of them's dead, so they're not 21. Romola. 15th of July, 1944. Dear Mrs. Erene. I'm writing to let you know that all is well here at the villa. Thank you for being so considerate and caring. I apologize for the simplicity of the housing you were forced to live in. I also locked the room where the little one used to stay as requested. I've left you the key. It is the one with the pink key ring. Try to stay safe. Okay, so we need to find Best the pink regards, key as well. Nanny. Why on earth did mummy have that door locked? It was my room. What is she trying to hide? I find it really weird to hear an adult saying mommy, by the way. Like, I, I, like, I, I just I just find that really strange. I, I, some of you might do it, and this that's fine. This is mommy's jewellery. But I do find it she weird. She wears them every day. Even though daddy says it's impractical and dangerous to show signs of wealth these days. As usual, she doesn't want to listen to reason and ends up arguing with daddy until he goes to play war, as she says. Anything else worth taking in here? Well, we need the pink key, right? There are gun. more and more weapons around, and everyone is scared after what happened. Anything else in here? Oh, the cards were in here as well. Voila. Here are my cards. Nanny and I always used to play with them. She would predict my future, and I pretended to predict hers. The future was always good for everyone. Maybe when she read them, she saw my true future, which she hid from me. Or more likely, these cards are actually just a stupid game to reassure and deceive oneself with. But deceiving oneself is sometimes necessary. 
How can we live happily otherwise? I will say, like, if you're over the age of 20, the only time you should be using the word mummy is in, like, some, like, fucking... in the bedroom, really. Non-ironically, anyway. What is 25 this? ISO film. When the sun is high in the sky, it's perfect. Oh, uh, talking to a child or puppy, yeah, that's true. That that makes sense as well. The all radio right. needs to be kept on at all times these days. It can save your life knowing things on time, especially before they happen. General Edith K. New rules on curfew and women's behaviour. German command of S. Vincenzo Atori. Telephone number 1185. Alright. Okay, I've already looked at the map. As we come across telephone numbers, do they get added here? Looks like they do. Interesting. Anyway, let's go down to the basement and develop the film. I still need to find a pink key. Uh, more newspaper shit to read. The superior commander of the German Federal Armed Forces announces, 1. Whoever is in possession of weapons or explosives not reported to the German headquarters will be shot. 2. Whoever harbours bandits and or protects them and provides them with clothing and or weapons will be shot. 3. Whoever is aware of the existence of any rebel groups or even lone rebels without reporting them will be shot. Italian workers Diplomatic in approach. Germany. The following rules are in place for workers who voluntarily work in Germany. A commitment of a maximum period of one year before returning to Italy. Okay. War rages on the Eastern Front. An attack launched by the Soviets after hours of cannonade. The fight on this front has been going on for a long time. Fighting in Normandy. Victorious Germanic counterattack on the road from Perriers to Carentan. Pon Heber reconquered north of San Lo. Many US losses caused by the flying bomb action. Okay, so this newspaper is, is written in Italian, all right? And it seems very pro-Axis still at this point. Sort of just like, uh, so like, I don't know if this is... I liked watching Nanny as she could. I'm so confused on timing. I always here. picked up loads of techniques. All right. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's just light coming through the window. I was like, what the fuck is that? Is it like, <laughs> I was really confused. A tripod is necessary to take photos with long exposures. All right, we'll just pop this up our butt. It's probably why we bled so much. It's where we normally store it. The puppets I used to play with were made here. I never knew that when I was a child. They always told me that a fairy bought them. I didn't really believe them, but it was nice to think that. The reason I bring up dates, especially for those of you watching this on YouTube, is uh, uh, Twitch chat has been saying for a while this was a point where Italy had left the Second World War and joined the Allies, basically. Uh, this is the end of... This is 1944, so like about a year before the war ended, I think this is set. Um, and uh, Italy did uh, change sides. But um, I'm assuming at least we're in, like, uh, German-occupied Italy, so we're getting, like, German propaganda and stuff. That would make more sense, I suppose, in the grand scheme of things. What the fuck is this? I have to be careful and keep the volume down as I listen. I must go unnoticed. I am meant to be deaf after all. Ready? Julia? You ready? Sure, Daddy. I'm good to start. I've already started recording. Oh, no, my voice will sound awful. No way, come on. Didn't you want to study singing anyway? No, 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 I was young and stupid when I said that. Okay, ready. Go. 
Oh, how nice. It's the rehearsal for last week's concert. Oh, this is licensed music. I never heard the recording. But I was right. My voice is awful. It cannot be called singing. Yeah, it's anyway, terrible. it's time I develop these film roles. I can't wait any longer. I wish I could just stop time. It's nice that they muted the copyrighted music for streamer mode. Makes my life so much fucking easier, guys. You wouldn't believe how much of a pain that is. I really like that, though. That's so helpful for, like, streamers. These images could change everything. I cannot bear the fact that I may have hurt Martha. I would rather die. Damn my head and these memory lapses. It's such a pain not remembering. It's like getting lost inside yourself. All right. These all look shite. Oh my god, these look bad, look. All right, so these are the last ones that I took. We have to develop all of these, unfortunately. But let's develop this one first, I guess, because this is like us. It's going to take a while, and that's okay. Oh, you can skip it, thank fuck. Did I really take her out the water like this? I'm carrying Martha to shore. I'm trying to save her. My memories, although fuzzy, do match reality. I feel a little better. Now I can find out who really hurt Martha. Maybe I should meet with the white lady. She might be able to tell me something. She's a fucking ghost! Is this crazy talk? Yes, definitely. But what's normal about any of this? Maybe you have to be a little crazy to get anything done. So these are like the auto pictures the camera took every 20 seconds during the instance. We set the camera to take like 20 photos uh, during this time period. We'll just develop from the end backwards, I guess, and say, oh, though maybe, maybe it's more interesting to like... These all look like absolutely fucking nothing, to be honest with you. This is us running in. This one, I'm not sure about this one. Let's develop this one. I was running toward the pier, just as I remember. I'm gonna take, I'm develop a few more of these just in case there's something interesting, like a note that might show up, you know what I mean? Because you never know. We could capture... I don't think we caught the killer on stream. I think the cameras are all angled really shit. Um, unfortunately. But like, uh... We've already developed that one. This one. Let's develop this photo. This is us running in again, I think, though, just from another angle. Yes, I've undressed and I'm about to dive in. This matches my memory. Okay. So yeah, everything everything seems to line up with what happened like at the beginning cutscene, right? Let's develop the shit we found in the woods as well. Uh, just for adding into our album's sake, because they're presumably really important. You know what I mean? Um... I keep forgetting you can skip that bit. Alright. We've done those. We've got to develop these three. We've got to develop the picture of our dead sister that we can take everywhere with us. Because that's very healthy behaviour. A photograph is both the present and the past. Like a dead body. I don't know what I'm expecting. Maybe it's silly to think you can capture the soul of someone who has died.
Can't skip these ones because they're like key plot ones. The red thing, the, the, the picture of the red thing we found uh, on the wood, in the woods, her right? Her face can't tell me anything it's anymore. It's probably important I as well. I know that, really. Her lack of expression scares me. I don't even know whether to keep this blank photo with me or just throw it away. Okay, that's another objective done. Alright, so let's get the last two done as well. Uh, we got this one which is the helmet which is a bit weird but i don't think it's that big a deal like she seemed to be really freaked out by it but i don't think the helmet is that big a deal and neither does the game for some reason uh, clearly because it lets me skip that And then the last one is this one, which this could be genuinely a clue as to who the killer is, because this we found right by where the body was. But I've no idea, like, how, the, the true relevance of this, you know what I mean, at this moment in time. I think this game just has one ending, but there's multiple paths to get it, if that makes sense. All right, we're done with this for now anyway. What is this? A lens and a roll of infrared film. They can photograph oh, the we naked should definitely take that see. then. That's gonna let us take some other stuff. I have found what I need to take infrared photos. Well, that's handy. What are these? Fuck all. All right, so we can take infrared photos now as well as heavily exposed ones as well. Photography is like a key part of this game. I never really thought it, I didn't, you know, I had no idea it would be. Um, all right, so we've got the, the white lady. Go to the lake. Find the keys to the happy room. Okay. Uh, go to the lake tomorrow. It's, okay, so this is the weird note. Okay. That we don't know. There's nothing we can do about that at the moment. We've read both the newspapers so far. So we need to go to the lake, and we need to figure out how to get into the happy room. Maybe, do you know, I'm going to check my parents' room one last time, because like, if we could find the keys now, that would be great. But I don't know where my mum would like hide. That, that's the room we need to get into. This is like our old room when we were a, when we were a bubba. But... Nets for catching butterflies, poor creatures. I had so much fun with them. <laughs> I enjoy killing them. Lol, 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 lol. Doesn't look like anything else is here, right? I am using the look around thing. More of the fucking medicine everywhere. everywhere. I think she's having too many and too often. I'll look at the map again because it wants me to, maybe. I don't fucking know. No, nothing to say because we've already looked at it. Now, there's nothing to interact with up here, so I guess the keys are not in this area at the very least. Right, let's get the fuck out of here. Alright, so, keys. I mean, we might not be able to do it, like, at this point in the story, or anything like that, but I'd like to have a little look around, in case. I like the way the phone's locked. You can't make any phone calls. You're gonna be... You're gonna be mute. Don't you remember? Oh, maybe here? These hunting rifles are not daddy's. He never went hunting. Nanny must have left them here. Alright. 
I'm gonna check the basement as well very quickly and then we'll take the bike down to the lake and see the ghost lady and maybe she'll kill us or something, I don't fucking know. This fabric is not new to me, yet I do not think I've ever seen it in the house. This fabric, right, is the same as the one that we found on the beach. So uh, uh, it looks like, to me, the implication is our mother was at the scene of the crime. And that note that we got... When I was little, these barrels seemed enormous. Would indicate that. I thought I could live inside one. That would definitely indicate. We need an infrared lens here to take a picture, so there's something hidden here. All right, required add-ons. All right, so I need to press control. Bring out the tripod and the infrared film and lens. And then we need to just bring it into focus. However, that's gonna fucking work out. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Okay, and then we need to develop that because there's something hidden here that we couldn't see with the naked eye. So that's interesting. It would definitely indicate though that our mother was at the beach by the lake at the time of death. I don't like wine all that much, but I go crazy for our dessert wine. It is very sweet. All right, let's develop this one quickly and then we can go to the lake. What is this? A joke? Maybe someone wrote on the film? He who flees from also, the light hides what behind it. does that even mean? Light, like divine light? Something to do with religion, maybe? Interesting. Well, we'll add that to the album. Because we're getting some interesting clues, guys. Alright, let's head to the lake. Oh fuck, I came out here. I was just wanting to get back by the bike so I could ride the bike to the lake. Alright. My bike. The wheel is deflated as usual. Oh, for fuck's sake. A bicycle pump will solve this. All right, we need to find a bicycle pump. Find a pump. God damn it, if I was a bicycle pump, where the fuck would I live? Like, I, I, I'd assume that you keep a bicycle pump near a bicycle. This sounds like a crazy idea I know on paper, but hear me out, all right? Tuscany is really beautiful. It's just really fucking hot. Like, way too hot for me. Well, at least... I probably am used to warmer temperatures now than I was, like, when I went to Tuscany last. But the last time I went, it was so fucking hot. It was, like, unbelievable. I felt like I was dying. I guess we're gonna have to try and find this pump, guys. Sorry. I feel like keeping it near the bike would be a much more sensible option, but, um... Everything seems to be in the basement in this house. And we're back out here? Oh, maybe around here? There's other bikes here. Can we just steal a different bike? No one would know. They're all, like, out and shit, right? Oh, My dog's the... basket. Or should I say, the new dog's basket. I don't remember what happened to my first dog. When I think of him, I feel despair. Oh, that's so fucking sad. That's so fucking depressing, it's unbelievable. Riding bikes around here is beautiful. These are Mummy and Daddy's bikes, though. Mine is outside.
we cross a line in this game, by the way, if we dress up as our sister in our sister's clothes and then fuck her boyfriend. That would be... Oh, whoof. 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 That would be fucking awful. Okay, there's no pumps here. It must be, like, somewhere outside. I might have to walk, guys, because I have no idea where this fucking pump is. I genuinely wouldn't put it past this character to do something as fucked up as this. Like, she's completely off the fucking rails at this point in time. Like, genuinely, desperately needs help, you know? Like, I understand she's been through some trauma, but she obviously had some really deep-seated issues even before all this shit went down. Just by the way she talks about stuff, you know what I mean? Like, like she seems potentially pretty delusional, but I don't know for sure yet, you know? Oh my god, this is the pump. Here's the bicycle pump. There we go. Thank you. Like, she gets abused by, like, everyone at the asylum. She even, like, makes friends with, like, another female inmate, and then the female inmate rapes her as well. Alright, we're gonna repair the bike now. It was a long time ago that came out, to be fair, like five, six years ago at this point. Alright, now we can fast travel. Oh. There's not, it's not actually fast travel, we actually just have to genuinely ride the bike. Not sure this is going to work too well, I think we may have to just run down here anyway. Right, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna run down. <laughs> I'm stuck. I actually can't get off. There we go. All right, let's just get. We're gonna run down there. Oh, what the fuck? Well, that was a machine gun being fired, and uh, not what I expected. Jesus Christ. Maybe we should not what go and speak to the ghost. Here? What are the soldiers doing? It's dangerous, I know, but I want to follow them and see what's happening. This seems like a spectacularly stupid idea. The gunfight in the woods. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That did not sound good. Oh, fuck me! We take a picture of him. Oh God, please no! Oh, it's Lapo. Lapo, my dear. It's friend. her boyfriend. What have they done to you? It's her boyfriend. He's fucked. Let's take his shit quickly. Your handkerchief was the symbol of what you believed in. At least that is left of you. Hang on, that's the same fucking- that could also be the thing that was on the beach. Dear Julia, are you surprised that I've addressed this to you and don't think you're dead? <laughs> Everyone calls he you knew. Martha now, right? I know you too well. I can never understand why no one else can ever tell you apart. Not even your own mother and father. Martha is gone, and I cannot reconcile myself. Wow. We just got shot. Du hast ein Mädchen erschossen, du Idiot. 
Scheiße, scheiße, scheiße. Was machen wir jetzt? Sieh mal, was sie um ihren Hals hat. Sie ist eine von ihnen. Es musste getan oh, werden. Sie ist die Tochter von General Erich K., du verdammter Trottel. Sie war die Freundin von diesem armen Kerl. Oh, verdammt, jetzt sind wir wirklich am Arsch. Scheiße, lass uns abhauen. Aber, aber sie lebt noch. Sie liegt im Sterben. Siehst du, wo du sie getroffen hast? <lacht> sie ist bestimmt schon tot. Wir müssen jetzt abhauen, sonst sind wir auch bald tot. I'm dying, I thought. But strangely enough, I wasn't afraid. In fact, I was almost relieved. When I returned, I found myself once again in the midst of a bad dream. One whose meaning I did not understand at the time. All right, uh, Martha. I give you back. Your destiny. Wrong. Martha, I give you back your appearance, I guess. I think like our last room is gonna be super fucked. I give you that. I give you that. Are you now? No. Nope. Now. I see. With my eyes. Now. Two sisters were destined to die. Julia, the first sister, and Martha, the second. On Julia's day of departing, identical twins stood before me, impossible to tell apart. They questioned my presence, since they were still so young. Julia must come with me, I demanded. But they both claimed to be Martha. I explained that Martha's fate was soon to be the same, and their games were useless. I didn't have time for it. The war was keeping me busy. But they didn't concede, and instead kept insisting. Can we follow you together? No. Impossible. Are you sure Martha will die too? Nothing is certain in wartime. What if the wrong person went with you? Then you would have cheated death. One would die unjustly, and the other would simply be delaying her fate. They discussed amongst themselves, then hugged before one of them came forward. She stared in a determined, almost threatening manner. 
I guessed it was Martha sacrificing herself, giving more time to her sister. But I stayed silent, not to reveal their failed deception. No one lies to the face of their own death. So I asked how their choice was reached. We do lots by throwing a medallion, she said quietly. They had trusted in fate. Oh, how naive they were. They knew fate plays by its own rules, which is true, but it is also my ally. Fate never would have allowed the wrong girl to follow me. In that case, my work was done. She must have been Julia. However, little to my knowledge at the time, that blasted medallion had the same name engraved on both sides. Martha's. So, my first assumption was correct. They were too damn smart, and had fooled both fate and me. One thing is for sure. I'll put things back where they belong. I will correct my ignorance and give fate back its blindfold. This is really cool, but really weird. Like, I, it's so rare to come across games with these kind of aesthetics. It just doesn't exist. <sighs> well, I guess we survived. Damn, this hurts so bad. I can hardly breathe. Aren't they going to be a bit sus that we were hanging out with the dead, uh, you know, the, the guy? Where's this upside down? Okay, so this is Martha's burial day, but they still think we're Martha, presumably. We should probably dress as the one they think we are today. The ceremony is today. So I need a suitable dress. I don't know why this one's meant to be so fancy. It looks exactly the fucking same. I would like to spend a moment with my sister. Just me and her alone. Before people arrive for the funeral and then take her away. We never got in here, did we? Which is bum. All right. No, no, no. My bag is not here. My diary. Lapo's letter. Oh, fuck yeah. Why do they keep hanging the bloodstained shit everywhere? Wash it! Sorry. How is she? How is my daughter? Please, Doctor. Please give me good news. It's a miracle she's alive, Eric. But she will be alright. He better have torn those guys a new one, considering he's like a former like German general or whatever. He better have been like, what the fuck are you doing, you fucking dickheads? The bullet passed right by her heart and exited her chest. Unbelievably, it missed her lungs, spine, and heart. She could have been paralyzed or died. But thankfully, she's fine. I examined her thoroughly. She didn't even lose that much blood. She was lucky. And you were lucky, so to speak. She was lucky that my wife went for a walk in the woods, otherwise... Otherwise she would have bled to death, yes. I don't know what to say. All of this, it's too much. So much death and suffering, nothing more. Don't worry, Erik. She's young, so she'll recover quickly. I'll be here all day anyway. Thank you, Doctor, for everything. Do you mind coming with me to pick my wife up from the cemetery? The funeral will start soon in the chapel. Of course not. Lead the way. You know, with all of these preparations for the funeral, Irina wants everything to be perfect. It's her way of coping, so she doesn't have to think about everything going on. She is a woman who has suffered so much. I don't excuse her shit behavior. Maybe 
Akuma. All right. Well, we're still no closer to finding out what the fuck happened, but we are we are okay. Are we are we sure we should be walking around? That's my bag. Thank God. I bet it's empty. Let's hope Lapo's letter is in there. Oh yeah, we were reading it as we got shot, right? Which is a bit unfortunate. Yeah, it is. Dear Julia, are you surprised that I've addressed this to you and don't think you're dead? Everyone calls you Martha now, right? I know you too well. I can never understand why no one else can ever tell you apart. Not even your own mother and father. Martha is gone, and I cannot reconcile myself to that fact. I have to stay hidden, and sadly I can't run to you. Even if I would love nothing more than to hold you tight and cry together. No words. I just want to be close to you. Can we meet in the barn tonight? I will try my best to be there around midnight. Don't be alarmed, but if things get ugly, please remember this number. 6934. He knew he was in serious danger, but what about the letter? I had it in my hand when the soldiers ran off. Mummy found me, and if she's read it, well, she hates Lapo, and now she must know who I am. No, no, she probably would have left me there to die. She'd rather have no daughter than the wrong one. Before I passed out, I must have put it back in my bag. There is no other explanation. Mm. All right, guys, we have to take a quick break, because Chrism just bought me some food, and I really need the energy, so I'm just going to eat uh, my little bowl of turkey here, and then we'll continue, okay? against citizens continues in La Romola, and once again General Kay's family has come under fire. Now it is the life of her sister, Martha, that is in danger. The blow from the gunshot in her back could have killed her. It is only by the grace of God that the girl is alive. The anti And it's not too sunny outside. The 200 ISO film works the well. Act. The New Zealand troops are advancing. General Edith Kay. New rules on curfew and women's behaviour. We already read this. German command of S. Vincenzo Atori. Telephone number 1185. Still wondering if we can find the pink key to open up the extra room. I don't know if that's still in my thing. Yeah, these things are still here. Okay, use the number 6934. I guess I could try the phone, right? Say goodbye to your sister. We've already done that. The newspaper, read today's newspaper. I've got to do that. Where's the fuck? Yeah, the happy room. We, don't, we haven't found the way into that yet either. Can we use the phone? No, we can't use the phone at the moment. Okay, so that's for later on. Read the newspaper. Attempted murder in La Romola. After the murder of Julia Kay, today her twin sister is the victim of another attempted murder. The condition of the young girl found by the German oh my God, they lied. is no cause for concern. The political motive behind this is becoming all the more clear. But that's not what happened. It's all wrong. Mummy was the one who found me. The German soldiers shot me. Best to stay quiet. No one ever believes the truth. The Battle of Tuscany. German operations in the Livorno area. Extremely violent fighting in the streets of the city. Okay. Even in Florence, the war is beginning to be felt. Supplies are starting to run out. Bread may only last a few more days. Prices are rising dramatically. Meat can now be found for 100 to 140 lira per kilo. The gas has been cut and there is no coal. New ordinance ban on the use of bicycles. Over the last few days, cyclists have once again shot at members of the Italian armed forces and at civilians in the streets. The offenders will be punished in accordance with German martial law. All right. Okay. I should pick up the phone but remain silent. 
If I let the caller speak first, I'll find out who it is. All right. Hello? Ma'am? Can you hear me? Is there somebody there? Mr. Eric? Oh, it's the nanny. I can confide in her. Nanny? Hello, it's me. What? Hello? Oh my oh god, my she does it. She thinks you're dead. You must be dreaming or something. No, Nanny, you're not dreaming. It's really me, it's Julia. Oh my god, Julia, my little sparrow. How wonderful. Sorry, but I thought you were dead. I, I saw you lying there dead. This brings me so much joy that actually you must explain to me, my little sparrow. This is what such is a bad happening? idea. We're already fully committed to this fucking I lie. I told Nanny everything that had happened. She was sad for Martha, of course, but very happy at the same time. I was the one she had a special bond with. I explained to her that I wanted to try and meet the White Lady, even if I knew it was a silly idea. But she didn't think I was a fool. Quite the opposite. She explained to me what I should do in an attempt to meet her. It was complicated. I noted everything down carefully in my diary. Who knows, maybe she did it only to keep me occupied, while deciding what to do with me and who to warn. I won't ever know, though, because that very same day, a bomb struck the villa and she died. Oh, Jesus Christ. We all died. We should have been in that house ourselves, but instead, poor Nanny. Oh my fucking God. Bye, Nanny. I love you. Goodbye, my darling. I thought I'd lost you. Be careful, my little sparrow. Oh, that's depressing as fuck. I mean, this whole game is like a relentless, like, jaunt through depression, really. You can now use the telephone to make calls. Who should I call? Let's call the Asylum. This could be a reference to the Town of Light or something, I don't know. What number did he give us? I've already forgotten. It's in my thing. I'll look at it in a minute and try calling it. Why would I call the asylum? Mummy was there a few years ago now, and I wouldn't know. Oh, what so her mum is a honest, former I inmate of the asylum. Why the number is still here? Six nine three four. We'll call the haberdashery too, because I want to ask about that red shit. Ringing. You've called this number. Damn, Lapo must be dead then. Rest in peace, fair comrade. Yes, Lapo is dead. I am due. No, no, don't talk. We don't need to know who you are. By calling this number, it means Lapo wanted you to complete his work. A telephone cable near the house of German General Erich K has to be cut. One goes to the house, but there's another cable we suspect is connected to a secret base. That is the one that has to be cut. If you see any German vehicles around, let us know immediately. We won't use this number anymore. It's dangerous. Use a telegraph. That will be safer. I hope you know how to use them. Otherwise, you'll have to come up with something. This is important. Frequency X. Before the message, telegraph, town on fire to identify yourself. Long live the homeland. Long live the liberation. Should I sabotage the cable and become a spy? Oh my god! Mm, my father is German. It would be like betraying him even though he himself hates this war. But what happened to Lapo and those guys? Do you think I should get involved or not? Save someone's life? Maybe I should try. Or maybe I can talk to daddy about it. He may Don't talk to your dad about it! I'll too. fucking kill you! I don't even know the first thing about all this. What were you thinking, Lapo? Let's help the partisans, fuck it. To cut the it. cable, I will need sharp scissors. I've already got some. Taylor scissors should be fine. Okay, well, we already have that. We've got the quest, the communication cable. It said near the house, right? I've got so much shit I need to fucking do at the moment. Jesus Christ. It's like a, a load of objectives. A lot of this is optional, by the way. July 18th. Everything has changed. I feel like a different person. 
The best part of me left with Martha. My enthusiasm, my desire to live, and the will to joke around. I find myself alone, left to my own devices, confused with no desire or expectations. I was handling the cameras at the lake and there was a floating body This is like old journal entries here we haven't listened I to yet. I don't remember what I was doing before. Yet another memory lapse. That lifeless body was Martha's. My sister. Mummy ran up to me and hugged me thinking I was Martha and that I, Julia, was dead. I didn't correct her mistake and now it's too late. If they find out I have been fooling everyone, I don't even want to think about it. I feel terribly guilty pretending to be Martha, pretending to be death. I took the photo for Martha's frame. I know it's too late now and I felt incredible pain placing the picture. I said goodbye to her forever in that moment. I realized she was gone and there was no going back. I must do one thing for Martha. I must find out what happened. The partisans couldn't have killed her. That's just ridiculous. Lapo is my friend and he is one of them. He loved us so much. We know all of them, so it's just impossible. Three unread pages. July 19th. I retrieved the cameras at the lake, but I had convinced myself that I was the one who had hurt Martha. So much so that when I had the rolls with me on the way home, I found myself in another horrible dream. I don't even remember going to sleep. As soon as I woke up, I developed the film. The photos confirmed to me that my memory of that night was correct. It was a great relief. I have decided to go back to the lake in an attempt to communicate with the white lady. I know it's a crazy thought, but... I can't get it out of my head. I need to know what happened to Martha, so I must pursue every possible avenue, even the path of insanity. Now I know what must be done to meet the lady. Nanny has explained everything to me. I must try to meet her early in the morning when it is foggy, or all will have okay, been in vain. So early morning. That's what the legend says. This is what I need to do. One, I must reinvoke her loss by putting her into contact with her lover. To do this, Nanny said to look for his grave in the woods, but there are so many. Fuck. Daddy always said that infrared photos can see what the naked okay. eye cannot. Maybe then they also see ghosts. There wouldn't be anything strange about that now, considering I'm trying to contact one after all. How crazy. Two, a part of me needs to enter her world. A lock of hair would work, so I'll need scissors to cut some Already off. got this. Three. I will need an object that connects her world to mine. I don't know what to do for this yet. Hopefully something will come to mind when I least expect it. 4. To communicate with her, I will need to use my tarot cards. I will meet with the lady on the island where her lover was executed. Okay, we're up to date. But we need to find a personal object, and I have no idea what that is at the moment. Alright. Um... Let's go and try and do the side quest with the phone line, I guess. Oh, we should call the haberdashery before we sabotage all communication to our house, actually. That's actually a good point. Um... No idea what this phone line's gonna be or what I should be looking for. Hello, Maria speaking. How may I help? Actor's mother's friend sounds more plausible. Hello, Maria. It's Anna L, a close friend of Irene K. Oh yes, Irene spoke about you. How can I help? Irene is making a dress for me, so I wanted to know whether she bought that beautiful and vibrant red and black fabric. I assume so. I am sorry, madam, but I cannot give you that kind of information. Irene oh, is a loyal off. customer, you see. I'm going to I understand perfectly, Maria. I'm only asking as I wanted to order a few metres of it for myself, without Irene feeling that she needs to sacrifice hers for me. I'm sorry, Miss Anna, but unfortunately, we do not have any more of that fabric. We got more on order for Irene. I'm sorry. Interesting. So it definitely is our mum's fabric. Okay.
Alright, so, anyway, what the fuck am I doing now? I need to find this phone line to sabotage. I'm guessing it's down there where, by, where the telegraph is, um, potentially. So, we should probably head down there. I know we need to go and, like, say goodbye to our sister and shit, but we'll do- that's gonna progress the story, so I wanna, like, try and do this side stuff first. I think it's probably a good idea, right? Shut up. Maybe they're not around here. The telegraph must be hidden in one of these feed bins. Okay. So the telegraph is here. That's fine. But we still need to figure out where to cut the wire. He said near the house, but that means nothing. Because this fucking property is fucking massive. The cows. That must be Chinzy and her little calf. You're very cute, Chinzy. I like you. We're not doing the lake thing today. We're doing our sister's funeral, right? I've got, the thing is, the cable, right, is... He said it's the cable to a secret bunker. Not the cable to anything, like, uh, to do with the house. Like, I see a phone line there, for example, but how the fuck am I gonna get up there? Oh, for fuck's sake, I got sucked into the chapel! God damn it! I got given the suck! My sister sucked me! Okay, maybe not. Maybe it's this shit. Sucked by my sister. Interesting. Num 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 num. He didn't even eat it, he just beat the shit out of it. We're gonna take a picture of it morbidly. We've already taken a picture of a dead person. We might as well take more pictures of dead things, right? Just become a complete fucking psychopath by the end of this fucking game. To be fair, like, uh... In her journal, she sounds way more, like, empathetic and reasonable than she does when she's doing all this crazy shit, like, day to Poor day. Poor little one. He's dead. Poor little guy. His place is by Martha's side. We'll, we'll deal with that in a minute. How the fuck am I- there's no way I should be climbing this shit, right? This is, like, super fucking dangerous. Am I really gonna just do this? What? I can't- oh, there we go. I've got to look at the emotes. Hmm, I don't think this is the right well, pole. How the fuck will I know what the right fucking pole is then? Why did you fucking climb the entire fucking thing like a complete dickhead when you- Twenty minute quick time event, you climbed the wrong pole. So that means it can't be any of these, right? Unless there's a pole down here. We haven't been this way before. It's possible there's a pole down here, I guess. Or does it just go round? Oh, this just goes down here again. I didn't think this was even a thing. I don't think this is gonna make gonna be the right one again. This is just the same shit, right? I'll give this one a try and then we'll look otherwise we'll look for one that is completely different, alright? I wish I hadn't fucking dialed that number. I don't I didn't really want to get drawn into all this shit. Cause I'm an international super spy. So mm, I don't think this is the right pole. Yeah, fuck off. I'm gonna do that later on. I'm trying to do this fucking side quest first before everyone gets killed. Alright? Jesus Christ. Alright, yeah, we need to find a pole with two... With, like, a, like, multiple wires coming off of it. Like, so, like, more than two connecting it. It needs to have at least three. And we can't go out. This is a dead end this way. So it's it's near the house, they said. So it's got to be around here somewhere. We've got to find the one that goes to the top secret, super secret bunker that has an extra phone line. I 
think I see it, actually. It's this one here. Yeah, this makes sense. Yeah, this is the one. This is th this is this is this is the sh holy shit! This one's got four. We're going in. Can I not climb this one? Yes, I can. Let's make sure that when we get attacked, we can't call for help, guys. This is the best idea we've ever had. German tank. I have to report its location via the telegraph hidden near the cowshed. Daddy probably asked for a garrison after all that has happened. I should report its location. This wire heads towards the house and then keeps going, so it must be the right one. All right, let's get the fuck out of here, and then we need to use now the telegraph. Now that remains is to go to the telegraph near the barns. My skirt is merging through the bot the thing. I've no idea how to use a tele telegraph, by the way. We're gonna have to wing it. Considering this game's been pretty complicated in like things you have to do sometimes, I'm not looking forward to this. I don't, I don't like fucking around with the photos either. I wish it was just like done. Done. All in one big done. A big. Just as well everyone's mourning our dead sister, otherwise we'd be really fucked. I have no idea what's going on. Oh, this is awful. I have to start every message with the code word. I saw the tank on the road, and the road is near the house. I guess I have to communicate something like that. This is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life, and I hate it. Select the words you need to create the message. Okay, so what do I- what was- what was- anyone remember what the code word was? Because I- I can't remember what it was. The house was on fire? Town on fire. Town on fire. Um. Tank positioned near road is that is that is house there near house i'll put house um over and out i'll add over at the end to make it clear that i have finished over and out over Where's it over? Just by itself. I saw it. I saw it earlier. I'm just blind. Over. No, no, this doesn't seem clear to me. What the I fuck is wrong? The, right words. the tank is on a road near. Oh, it's road. Okay. So. Jesus Christ, this is gonna suck so much. I fucking hate this shit. Town on fire. Hang on. Oh fuck. Tank positioned. Near. I'm going to say, is there an on? Oh, shit. Road near house? i just try that. I'll say tank position, road near house. Over. Let's try that. Oh, I've got to do the whole thing? Well, this is right, but I've got to do thing.
I have no idea what this means. <laughs> I hate this shit so much. I hope she tells me what it means. I hope we have to decipher it ourselves or I just be fucked. This is killing me. There's so much of it! What the fuck? <laughs> Leave near building beside river over and out. They are asking me to find a map of the defensive line. There is one in my father's study. All right. We're go I've got a complete list of all the solutions, by the way. Um, but uh, we're going to go and uh, we're going to cheat for every single one of those in the future because they're bullshit. And I never, ever want to do those again because I fucking hate Morse code. It's like the stupidest fucking puzzle ever. Apparently, this is required for the story, too. So, like, wonderful. Like, a lot of this does feel like needless padding at the moment. All right, we've got to take a picture of it because we can't take it because he'll be super sus. He'll be a super sussy backer if we take a picture and then, uh, you know. They're onto us! Panic! That's it. Hopefully the image comes out clearly. This music's awesome. All right, let's develop this so we've got it. I don't know what house they're talking about. I don't think it's one near us at the moment, but like in later on we'll uh We'll figure it out, I'm sure. We, we, we are so going to fucking get killed for this, by the way. Like, there's no fucking way we're not getting killed. There's no fucking way we're not getting killed. The print should be fine like this. You can see detail clearly. That's a shit fucking picture. I'm glad that you like it. Alright, well, we can't do anything at this point in time with this. Uh, it's not used now until later on in the game. So, uh... We have to find. We have to go somewhere else later on. Anyway, let's uh, actually pick up the dead bird now. Put it with our sister's body and say goodbye to her instead of running around like a fucking dickhead for twenty-five minutes. Where's the bird? There it is. I bet I had the shit kicked out of it. Nanny always calls me Little Sparrow. Is that a Sparrow? This is the part of me that died with Martha. It'll be safe next to her. She's gonna grab her arm or something. Here, Martha. This is my heart. Carry it with you. I'm starting to understand how painful your condition must have been. Not being able to properly communicate with anyone is becoming increasingly difficult. I envied you, but I did not see your suffering. I did not understand your courage. I miss you so much, Martha. I'm not worthy to dress in your clothes. Uh, how about you don't? Commune of San Casciano, province of Florence. Death certificate. 
from the Register of Death Certificates of this Commune, number 174, part 3. Series 12 of the year 1944. I wonder at what point does impersonating your dead sister the day of the become a crime? Of Surely the year like 1944, it is. Julia Kay has died. Resident of Villa Perchabaya, born in La Romola. On the 26th of February 1923, the daughter of General Erich K. and Irene K. Don Attilio D. will give the funeral and the esteemed Mr. Alberto M., who will look after the burial in the cemetery of La Romola. Telephone number 6537. The official state civil service. General Galeazzo T. There's only a few signatures from my funeral. If people had known that it was actually Martha, there would have been far more. I'm sorry that I took this from you too. The fucking crow. Fuck off. Oh, it's a raven. We got a quest for the raven. I need to find an object. The lover. Okay, that, that's different. We need to, that's that's for a different day. day. The raven. Follow the raven. Right, let's follow it. Fuck it. Do you know why a raven's like a writing desk, everyone? It's fucking not! Oh god, what's it gonna lead us to? This doesn't sound good. Oh no, what the fuck is this? made from the same fabric I found a shred of next to the lake. This is really fact, fucking it is weird. Torn. It must be my mother's. Her mum is looking so fucking guilty as fuck right now. Like, it's unbelievable how guilty her mother is looking. I started to suspect that mummy could have been involved in Martha's murder. Lost in these thoughts, hours passed. And I completely forgot about the funeral. When I realized it was evening, they were already carrying the coffin towards the cemetery. She never loved me, I knew that well. But I would never have believed it. Had it been her? I struggled to believe it, but it made so much sense. At the lake, she must have thought Martha was me because she was convinced that I was dead. Mummy is fucking sus. Like, holy shit. When the funeral ended, I felt an irresistible urge to play. I loved music. Oh, thank I started that. playing without thinking about the possible consequences. I didn't care anymore. I needed to feel alive, to exist again. Oh, this music's muted again by the streamer mode. So just imagine, well, I'll, I'll do the music. That's it. What's going on here? Julia? Is that you? No, it's not possible. Martha's never played. She's deaf, yet... No. You look super it's sus. Madness. My God. So, Martha? I understand now. You can get all of the attention, right? Oh, she knows. You were jealous, weren't oh you? Oh my God. Because she was we a wonderful girl. We just blew our cover in seconds. You're just a useless little slut. What the fuck? How did you manage to convince her? I Holy get it now. shit! But she, she talked to me. I, I, no, it doesn't make sense. Well, this escalated I quickly. I locked up in an asylum. You hear? That's enough. You will pay for what you've done, you cursed lunatic. <laughs> they will torture you to reveal the monsters in your head. Holy shit, this escalated so quickly. What the fuck? Her words were as sharp as blades. I tried to tell her that it wasn't me, 
I showed her the photos I developed that proved my innocence, but she grew all the more angry, calling me crazy, and then she began to hit me with everything she had at hand. I closed my eyes as more darkness began to take over in me. Memories came flooding back. Not memories of actual past events, but more so of feelings. Feelings I had when I was little. They were scary. They were the fears of a little girl. Despite what had happened, I went walking in the woods early the next morning to meet the lady. The evening before, my father had tried desperately to console me. Talk to me, Julia. You know I love you. I just want to understand what happened. We need to get to the graveyard, right? To find the body of the other guy. Even if we have lost Martha, your mother was just in shock. She didn't want to hurt you. Listen, he's he is enabling her big time here. She's a piece of shit. Okay? She's literally just a complete piece of shit. And she's she, it, like, like, it's just totally fucking unacceptable on every level. Like, the dad should not be like, just like, like permitting this fucking bitch's behavior. Like, what the fuck? I don't know what I'm hoping to find, but what else can I do? All right, I've got to take the infrared picture here. I will hopefully here. see if one of these graves is hiding something. I hope that the infrared film will show me. No, 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 don't do that. Why does it say too close? I don't get that. I guess what's oh <laughs> subject framed now we see to do the focus blah 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 all right let's see this but we need to develop this though All right, let's go back to the house and develop this because we need to know what the fuck we're doing. Oh, we don't need to go to the house, can we? Because we can get to this basement through the little hatch without having to go anywhere near our mum. That's probably for the best, to be honest with you. Can we just fuck up our mum's shit? Can we just cut up her dress or some shit? That'd be funny. Just like, cut it to pieces. Wipe our ass on it or something. That's what I want to do. There's the grave I've been <laughs> like he's having a for, shit. The spirit of a prisoner. Just like the white lady, he's trapped in this world, but they can no longer meet one another. Evil is separating them. I think he's constipated. I was kind of waiting for our mum to jump scare us. All the wine that's leaked over there. All that wine that's been wasted. All right, um, objectives. Right, so what are we doing here? Okay, we got to do this objective at some point as well. We got to find that, it says near the stream. So we got to find the house near the stream. Find the correct grave. Didn't we just do that? Oh, I guess now we know what grave it is. So we have to go back to that grave now. 
I don't know. I have no idea about this yet, but it says around here. That's just my bike. Okay. So like, um, house by the stream. Oh, literally right there. Okay. I guess we should go there then. Right? Like that seems like we can go and do that first and send the message. Who the fuck is this, by the way? Let's go and do the side quest first then and finish the story about doing the Morse code and shit. Because I don't ever want to do this again. I don't, I don't want to do the Morse code shit. I, want to just, I don't want to prolong it for as long as any longer than we can possibly do so. You know what I mean? Like fucking fuck this shit. We actually can use the bike to get here. For the first time. I think running is faster, actually. Oh shit, can we not get past the gate, though? We might better go down that way, actually. I feel the bike is just completely fucking useless. And utterly unnecessary in every single fucking way. Because you can't take it off-road, and nearly everything is off-road. So what the fuck is the point? I came here to fish when I was little. I went with that ever so kind man who worked for my father. I guess maybe I can't get across? Is there a place maybe further over here I can get across in? Who knows where he is now? Maybe he joined the war too. Hmm. I don't see a route. I don't see where we can possibly go. Why can't I? God damn it. I really would do want to get this objective out of the way, but I guess... I guess it's not happening at the moment. What chapter are we on, by the way? Is there any way of telling? Nah, there's no way we can get through here. I'll just leave the bike there. Fuck it. All right, fuck it. I guess we can't do anything at the moment because there's no route across there. Like, can we even head up the stream? I don't think we can. Oh, no, we can't paddle. It's an invisible wall to stop us paddling, guys. All my shit's ruined. My dreams are torn to shreds at this point in time. Alright, we'll go over there another day, I guess. There must be a time when the front gate is going to be open. We just don't know when it's going to be, you know what I mean? Well, at least we know what the at least we know what the fucking thing is. So the fucking ghost is now, so we can go and do that bit and then get the personal object cuz that's circled on the map. I wish there was a way of telling what chapter we're on, though. If I wear this, it should allow me to make contact with her. With this object, she'll have to hear me, I have no doubt. I'm missing the element that connects my world to that of the White Lady. Oh, the lake. Of course. Why couldn't you Why didn't I think of it sooner? Ago? The dress that I threw in the bushes that cursed day. It's been sitting beside the lake for a few days now, in a world that is both mine and hers. There's another path here. I want to check out this path here and see if there's any way of going around this way. You know, if that makes sense. But I don't really see anything that, that would indicate that's the case. Lots of graves here, though. Depressing as fuck. Yeah, there's no way we can get across this at the moment. Look, there's just no way. It's just like fucking... It's just a shit show. We've got to let someone leave the gate open for us, because apparently we're incapable of any, like, you know... Oh, hang on, there's a bridge here. Uh, that just takes us to the other side of the thing, though. No, it's not that exciting. We've been across this bridge a bunch before. 
All right, let's just focus on the main objective. Fuck it. You probably find you can ride your bike down here, but uh, the bike is just fucking awful. I hate it. Okay, we're heading the right way. The dress should be in the trees around here. Like, this is where we pulled her out of the water, right? Yeah, we were standing right here. So it must be pretty close. Yes, here. Here, 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 here. Perfect. Here it is. I hope it works. Now that I have everything I need to communicate with the lady, I can finally go to the island. All right, let's fucking roll. The engine was so much louder than everything else in the game, it was actually unbelievable. That's with the sound effects on like 60%. Like, what the fuck? That was like, just like, severed my ears. Alright. This is the tree the lover was hung from, according to the legend. Lovely. Lovely story. Don't we need to cut off our hair or some shit? Right? Yeah, this. My mother's tailor scissors. Don't look at them. Cut your hair off. Okay, I guess we're not doing that yet. What actually have I got in my inventory that I can click on? Oh, we have the t we have the tarot cards. Okay. And we have our journal, which apparently has no new entries at the moment. What are we meant to be doing here? There's nothing to interact with here. Aha. Aha ha ha. We had to walk close to the side of the thing. Alright. Lay down the rope thing. A roll of film. It's the one that I was taking out of the camera just before I discovered my Oh my god, body. that's going to be the what that's going to have the killer on it. Shots from before that moment. That's going to be so With important. Of luck, one of the shots has captured the moment of Martha's murder. I will then finally have an answer. Was it really mummy? I will develop it as soon as I can, but now it's time to speak with the white lady. 
I think speaking with the white lady is a terrible fucking idea. There's our freshly dug up amulet. I will wear her lover's cross to draw her to me. That seems like a really, really bad idea. Considering she kills people. A lock of my hair to enter into her world. I will use the tarot cards to communicate with her. The first ten will be used like I did with Nanny. Once two cards have been chosen, it should begin. She's gonna get like four death cards and be like, there's only three in a pack, what the fuck? Camouflage yourself in the woods to approach me. Hi. You blend in with the water to make yourself known. You wish to communicate with me through the energy of symbols. You use my pain to summon me. You are very bold. You call upon me for knowledge that I do not possess. For answers I do not have. I am only a vessel. Like water, like air. A vessel to move and breathe. Well, that went well. It worked. Now I need to choose two cards. Here we go. I don't know. This one. Great. I got death. And the tower is going to be. Death in the tower. The stars. Okay, I, don't I know can that sense that you want to know who did it, but I do not have the answer. You must find it yourself. Do not ever try to enter through the front door if you wish to reach the heart. Your twin sister might have the oh, answer. Oh, we're going to have to dig up our sister's body? For. Even after death, we, are. we leave traces of ourselves, don't we? Everything is indefinite if you look at the essence of things. What are we picking more? The moon? And this one. The devil. Part wow. of our nice soul nips. embraces the people we love. It is then torn away from us when these people disappear. The wound is deep and it cannot heal. Faith vacillates. Death causes fear. But the church is a safe place. It is home and mother to its children. Faith is the light. Do not lose it. Finding it again is almost impossible. Do you think we're just completely insane if we're hallucinating in this? And without time, I am lost in the dark. A chariot and... The tower. Wonderful. You do not have control of yourself. There is a dark figure inside you. The wounds are feeding it. It will do things you do not like. It will use your desires, your guilt, the darkest parts of your conscience. The High Priestess and the other one, the Hierophant. The daughter, the house, the mother. The daughter comes from the mother's house. The subtitles keep giving up here, by the way. A home and becomes a mother. This cycle is broken. To undo the knot, find the son. 
He is the original sin reflected on you. The one who gave you the light wishes to take it back. That's she our wants control. Bit by bit, she is crumbling your life. You have to stop her. The fool. You fall. You fall. You will no longer be able to tell light from darkness. In sorrow, the difference is so subtle. You are alone, and you will remain alone. Memories are abandoning you. They are your only true companions. Now they take the place of your happy childhood. And they may return to keep you company. <gasps> oh fuck. I'll swap the next. Oh shit, she pulled us in. This is we're fucked. Get air. Air. Apparently we don't need air. I, I don't know about Tara, like, it's all like, you know, I just don't believe in any of that kind of stuff at all. I had Tara reading once, when I was a kid at school, and they said I was going to die, and I cried. But I was like eight, you know, and it was another kid doing it. But yeah, I guess I'd like... Like, I don't believe in anything spiritual whatsoever, really. Like, I just think it's... Like, you're born, you keep your head down, and you die. If you're lucky. That's it. Oh, hi. Having a good time there? We got scissors. We got scissors. Do you want some scissors? Oh, thanks for the key. Oh, is this going to be the key to the room? Oh, it's pink, the key to the room, right? <gasps> What the fuck? We are losing it. We are losing our fucking mind. Speaking with the white lady confused me even more. But at least now I have this key. It's probably the key to this, yeah. Oh! Someone beat us to it! Someone's robbed it! Oh no, it's no, this is that's ours. Shit, okay. No one oh, we robbed our own one! It's I, it, don't worry about it. I was wrong. I was looking at the wrong box. This is the right box. Oh, our sister was taking that shit. July 16th. Dear sister, I entrust my secrets to this letter. If you are reading it, things have gone as I thought they might, and I'm no longer there with you. Shit. First of all, I am not deaf, and I never was. Mother scared me when we were little, so I decided not to speak or listen anymore. It worked. In fact, Mother began to love me. They also found a scientific explanation for my deafness. Neurological damage caused by excessive pressure exerted by the twin during pregnancy progressively led to hearing loss. And like that, my decision was also transformed into a fault of yours. So I what the it right. fuck? Do I have any other secrets? Unfortunately, yes, but a letter is too cold for such matters. Now that you know that I can speak, please go to the dark room. I have a hidden recording. So Martha is Listen just as fucking bad. You will hear my voice. Farewell, Martha. Fuck Martha. Fuck our mum. Fuck all of this fuck madness, all of them. Martha. What else have you been hiding from me? Fuck them. You deprived me of your voice for more than fifteen years. I can't wait to hear it now. What the fuck? I would be so fucking tilted. Hi, Julia. I know that this will seem absurd, but this is me and this is my voice. 
We are equals in this sense, too. Well, it's obvious, really. I've basically always spoken, and you were my voice. I'm going to meet my fate, so I don't want there to be any more secrets between us. I have to tell you that I'm... I'm pregnant, Julia. I'm pregnant with Lapo's baby. We had sex, Oi. and I never ah. had the courage to tell you. I was so afraid of hurting you. I'm so ashamed. And now, how can I ever oh my bring this God. child into the world? The baby is starting to show. Could you tell? That's why I'm no longer getting undressed in front of you. But for how much longer can I hide it? Yesterday, you asked me to go to the lake together early in the morning. You, the sleepyhead, early. I asked you to switch beds with me, like we used to when we were little girls. I got up at dawn and didn't wake you. I put on one of your dresses. What the fuck is happening? What are we doing? Oh, we're her. Oh my god, I just realised we're her. Alright. It's kind of I weird. I wrote a card to mother telling her that it was you who was pregnant, not me. And to come and see at the lake. I left it on the desk in her room. Everything's coming together now, guys. Like, we're reaching the conclusion here already. Like, things are all coming to a head. I feel there can't be that much left of this. Then I felt the need to talk to you, and I remembered the recorder in the dark room. We have to go down to the dark room really fucking slowly for 20 minutes. I can't run anymore. <laughs> I will go to the lake alone and act as you. I will tell her everything you never had the courage to tell her. I will be your voice. The mum totally did it. I know how much she's made you suffer over the years. Unlike you, I remember all of the harm she has done to you and it is my fault. Take my place, sister. You will live a better life, and I will be able to rest in peace. Oh, we already fucked this up. I at least try to put right what I have done wrong. We fucked I everything. My last memory will be the image of you sleeping peacefully. Hi, Julia. Oh my fucking god. I was upset. Unbelievably upset. July 16th, that cursed day. Martha didn't wake me up. Why is it giving me this prompt again? Are we, are we reliving the moment? Again, Martha I guess. wasn't there and we were supposed yeah. to go to the lake together. She even made her bed, which was unusual. I thought Mother woke up early, despite her medication, and asked her to do something. Hmm... There was a dress missing from my wardrobe. Oh yeah, we swapped beds, that's why. We're gonna get changed as well, or no? It was late. Martha hadn't woken me up as we had agreed. And I always overslept. I simply decided to go out and take the photographs by myself, without Martha. Okay, let's do it. It was a foggy morning, but it was no longer dawn. 
It was a sign of something terrible. All right. So this is all coming together now. My mother had killed her beloved Martha with her own hands. I had then taken her place, usurping the throne of her affection. She would have never forgiven me. I had real reason to be afraid. We should probably kill our mother. I think that's probably the best idea. I don't know what you guys think, but I'm, I'm down for killing our mother. But why haven't we forgiven- like, we seem remarkably calm about the fuck she fa she fucked our boyfriend, right? We're like pretty chill about it. We're just like, yeah, whatever. She fucks I her. She fucks him. No big deal. Pistols to defend myself. What a stupid little girl I was. In spite of everything, that role of film still needed developing, even if it didn't prove she was guilty. I also wanted to search for proof of Martha's pregnancy. Oh my god. Okay, well everything's coming together, and the mum looks guilty as fuck. Okay, so this is the chapter that we can. This is the chapter where we can use to go to uh, finish the military storyline as well. Okay, so we we haven't missed it. We haven't missed the military the military storyline. That's good because I like I want to see that to its conclusion as well. Even though if our boyfriend's a piece of shit. General Edith K. New rules on curfew and women's behavior. German command of S. Vincenzo Atori. Telephone number one one eight five. The general and his family were not in the house at the time of the attack. And once again, La Romola has been the site of graphic barbarity. A farm with storm 400 and ISO film. And it comes into its own Nobody's shooting clouds and indoors. Most of these films, by the way, aren't required. They're just for, like, fucking around with the camera if you want to, but I'm not that interested in it, to be honest with you guys. The telephone can... We... Oh, let's call the cemetery. Seeing as we need to go there today and dig up our dead sister's body, so... Uh, by the way, guys, uh, massive, massive trigger warning for really disturbing gore coming up, just for the record. Uh, yes. Who, who is it? Hello, it's at NAK. Yeah? Yeah, and wh what do you want from me, eh? How dare you, you disrespectful cretin! Oh, and I'm the rude one. <laughs> You're the one who's a filthy traitor. You well. Just look at this bitch. What the fuck? He must be going crazy. I don't believe for one second that Mummy would let him treat her this way. Sheer madness. He's drunk as fuck. He sounded like. I'll leave it in the letterbox. Have a good day. Another telegram of condolence. Isn't it a bit late? Sounds like it's something else. What do we have here to snoop at? Dear Mrs. Irene K. Following your call, we have received a telegram from Dr. D. Your request has been accepted. As soon as the police station issues authorization... Oh my god, she's trying to get girl. us committed! While we wait, to avoid the girl taking any extreme actions, as per the fears you have expressed, we ask that you trust in the. Oh my God! She's she's position. what a fucking we're gonna I'm gonna fucking blow her brains out if we see her. If we have a choice to shoot her, I'm shooting her. Okay. Director she S. fucking deserves it. All right. I have absolutely no. Hospital. Telephone oh, 07 let's call up and pretend to now be our mother. Now she's discovered everything, she wants to lock me up in an asylum. Let's call up Maybe and pretend to worse. be our mother. She wants to kill me and have everyone believe it was suicide. Let, let's call the asylum She's up. She's preparing all the finer details. What a fucking bitch. What was the number? I've already forgotten. 0782. We already, we've already called it once. All right. So we're on the sheet. What a fucking bitch. I fucking hate the mum so much. She's such a cow. Hello, we recently requested the admission of Julia Kay to the hospital. I just wanted to know whether it would be possible to cancel the request. I'm sorry, but the request was issued by the municipality where you reside, madam. Any revocation of the request should be passed by them. Only they can decide whether to approve of the cancellation or not. Have you already received the telegram confirming that we have taken charge of the request? No, I haven't received any telegram. 
Then you must hurry. If you go to the town hall and discuss the issue with them, they can approve the cancellation. Thank you. Goodbye, madam. All right, so we go to the town hall. Commune of San Casciano, province of Florence, death certificate. From the register of death certificates of this commune, number 174, part three, series 12 of the year 1944. It is certified that on the day of the 16th of July of the year 1944, Julia Kay has died. Resident of Via Perciabaya, born in La Romola. On the 26th of February 1923, the daughter of General Erich K. and Irene K. Don Attilio D. will give the funeral and the esteemed Mr. Alberto M., who will look after the burial in the cemetery of La Romola. Telephone number 6537. We've already the read official this, right? state I think. We've already seen this. It's the same one as that was in the thing. All right, uh, let's call the town hall. The town hall was there, 6922. We're not getting any quest pop-ups for this, but it would be nice if we could end up not in an asylum. Hello, this is San Casciano Town Hall Reception. With whom are you hoping to speak to? Ask about admission. I would like information regarding a request for admission to Volterra Hospital. Please hold the line, madam. Uh, yes, hello? I would like some information regarding the request for admission of Julia Kay, my daughter, to Volterra Hospital. Yes, madam. The hospital confirmed recently that it will be sending its own staff to your house uh, for the uh, admission. The matter is no longer in our hands. Fuck. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye. Fuck. Fuck. I don't think there's anything we can do, guys. I'm not sure what the mayor would do. Well, I'm going to leave it at that for now. Like, if we can prove that our mother murdered our sister, then we shouldn't end up getting, like, uh, you know, fucked up or whatever. Right, we should hopefully get away with it. Oh, fuck, our mum's down here. So we can't develop the film yet. to the dark yet. room now. Not when she's fuck. around. I must stay as far away from her as possible. We can't use the dark room in this I chapter. I could go to the cemetery instead to find out whether Martha really was pregnant or not. All right, yeah, we're going to go and dig up our sister's body. Wonderful. All right, let's go. We also need to do the secret mission on the way as well. I swear that walking is faster than this. There should be a house by the by the river around here. Yeah, this. For the side quest. Then we need to go back to the telegraph. According to Nanny, this was an old windmill. It has been abandoned for as long as I can remember. And it has always given me the creeps. So we slide the thing under the door, the map. There we go. The photo is where they've requested. Right, now we need to go back and use the telegraph. I'm going to leave the bike here. I fucking hate it. Alright, we'll go back and use the telegraph. And then we're good. I think for this, this storyline is completely done after that. Alright. 
I think digging up our sisters is gonna go really, really fucking bad. Like, to be honest with you, I can't, I can't see this ending well for us in any situation. Like, this whole story is pretty unrelentingly depressing and awful. Um, but it has a lot more character and depth to it than Town of Light, which is, which is really nice. Alright. I've got the solution here, so we don't have to fuck around this time, alright? So, here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna I've just placed the, the photo where requested, so I need to find the right words to communicate it. Oh, and of course, I need to remember the code word. Alright, so it's gonna be... Town, on fire. Photo map positioned. I wish it was in an alphabetical order. It would make stuff a lot easier, right? I fucking hate that shit. Because uh, I'm really inattentive and I find it really hard. It's photo map positioned. Uh, over? That would Bulby need to say, right? I hate the fact we have to fucking do... Damn it. Oh, okay. I got the length of the sound wrong. I'll try this word again from the beginning. Oh, it is in alphabetical order. <laughs> this is so pointless and tedious. Alright, so this is going to say, tank located. The pro- yeah, it's, it's not pro- in the, I meant the alphabetical order for the words, by the way. That, that's actually what I meant. Tank. Otherwise, it's like my brain can't handle it. Located. Uh, over. They have worked out the position of the tank. I should confirm that I've understood their message with received. All right, so received, uh, over. There's a lot more to this, by the way, than I thought. God, this is so fucking tedious. Alright, so this is, um, find weapons cache, cache near woods is what we need. The fuck is near? God damn it. I hate this shit. Near woods. Over. There's a weapons cache in the woods. In my woods. Okay, I will search for it. Let's respond received again. Received over. He's now going to type out another fucking essay for five minutes. God damn it. Like, I understand they're trying to be immersive, but it's just obnoxious. Like, this game has some... Uh, overall, I like this game, by the way, just to say. Like, I think this game has some really good moments and really good stuff in it. But I feel like there are bits that just feel a bit drawn out and unnecessary. You know what I mean? And it's really, 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 like... Oof. All right, so it's going to be uh, final. This is the last one. Place flag. Where the fuck is the flag? 
flag, pole, light, close, communications, over okay, and out. Okay, so after I've been there, I will place a flag on the telephone pole near the house. They will then know that I have accomplished the task. Easy peasy. All right, let's go get the weapon cache. If we can. Well, I guess that's what we're actually doing now, so, like, over everything else. Yeah, I wish they were- or, or, if you really want it on, right, you could always have, like, an option just to be, like, auto-translate Morse code. So you don't, like, have to deal with, like, actually fucking listening to it for five minutes. Because it just slows down all the rhythm of the game, you know what I mean? Like, it, it really sucks. Okay, it's, like, a bit further around from the graveyard. We got this, though. We got this. We got this. I'm not, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what we're gonna do with the weapons, but if we can get, like, a fucking automated rifle and shoot our mum with that, I'm on board, to be honest with you. I think we should shoot everyone and just burn the faith place down. And then charge the tank head on. That's what I think we should do. Right, this looks like the super sussy place where it could be. What is this place? This never used to be here. No one, no one built it in the last five days. Oh, maybe we can't get in yet. Oh, it's closed from the inside. How can I get in? Uh, maybe we can drop down from above or some shit. Oh, it used to be covered in bushes. Someone must have worked in it recently. I am going out my way to try and do all the side stuff, guys, so we have a full experience here of, like, what the game has to offer. Like, I think that none of this is required to beat the game. Tunnel? Here? I wasn't there when I was younger, I'm sure of it. There's been a whole world underneath oh, us God, this whole time. Maze. Find the weapon cache eventually, I swear. I swear! I swear! Hey, here we go. Oh, it's a Nazi bunker. When was this place built? I didn't know it even existed. I have the guns. Oh god, the game just fucking teleported me again. What the fuck? Can I have guns, please? I guess that isn't the weapon cache, even though that looked like a weapon cache to me. Mm, this place gives me the creeps. Like, what am I meant to be looking for? Ah, oh, this is paintings it. here too. This looks like something important. I think if Mummy were here to see them, she would take them straight home. Stolen art, I guess, right? Is the implication there? This must be a dormitory, but no one is here. Who knows why? I got a camera upgrade. Oh, a new skin, sorry, for the camera. I must have missed lots of things here. Dear Brunhilde, the heat here is killing me. We have been trapped inside the tunnel. It seems that Command are preparing for something big, but they are not telling us what. The other day, we went out on patrol and accidentally shot a young girl. I will carry the weight of this guilt for the rest of my life. Oh shit! I love you always. The hope of seeing you again is what keeps me going. T. The soldier who shot me, he thinks I'm dead. I don't feel any resentment. 
We are all hurting so much. I don't think I'm going to use the phone down here. I feel it's quite incriminating. Finally an exit. It looks like I'm back in the woods near the house. I guess I'm not going to take anything from I the case. I need to find something to confirm that this is in the area. And the message they mentioned using a flag. All right, where the fuck am I going to get a flag from? It's like, oh, do I? Do I, do I, do I pull the. I need to find something to confirm that this is in the area. And the message they mentioned using a flag. Should I go see it so I can take one I of the Nazi flags? need to find flags? something to confirm that this is in the area. And the message they mentioned using a flag. But they. But I'm not working for the Nazis, right? So that probably isn't a good idea. Objectives. Let's have a quick look. I don't know if I've actually if this even counts yet. Fine. We we still haven't found the weapons cache. What the fuck? All right. So there's probably more stuff in here we need to find. I guess I can't take these. Because it's not going to be a Nazi flag that I need. Yeah, we're working... We're, we're doing the help... We're helping the partisans, right? So, like... I have no idea where I'm going. This is so fucking confusing, this place. Did I just go around the big circle? I think I did. Oh, well, here's a flag. I guess it'll do. I will hang this on top of the pole next to my house. That will confirm these tunnels are in the area. My mission will then be complete. Okay, so I don't even have to find it. I've already found it. I just have to hang the flag up. Okay, we're going to literally just use a Nazi flag. What do we have to hang it on a telegraph pole? Are we gonna look super sus hanging a fucking Nazi flag from a telegraph pole next to our house? I feel that's like a really, really bad idea. Like, especially on mommy's home. It's literally in the house and already thinks we're insane and trying to get us sectioned. So like, like, <laughs> it seems like such a bad idea. I'm not really- I don't really give a shit about my family at this point, like, it's just like, if they die, they die, right? Like, I don't give a fuck. I mean, Daddy is a German- was a, is, a, is a former German general, right? So, like, he probably doesn't give a fuck. I'm gonna climb this one again. He'd be like, you've climbed the wrong telegraph pole. Please try all 70 in the area until you find the crack one. That's what it's going to say. There we go. Flawless. I have Definitely. done everything they ask of me. That's the end of it. That's the end of it. I hope I made the right choice. You probably didn't. You're probably gonna get everyone killed, but at this point, who gives a fuck, right? I wasn't talking to you, Siri. Fuck off. Alright, now we can go and dig up our sister's body. All in a day's work. Right? All in a day's work. Let's go and dig up our dead sister. It 
This is great. Why is this in the game? Just give me a better sprint. Martha is in the family crypt. That place is scary. Fuck it, let's just do it. I don't remember, but Nanny told me we used to go there when we were kids to see who was brave enough to go down the stairs. No one would ever go further than the first two steps. Now Martha's down there, alone, in the dark. She must be frightened. She's dead. Oh god, it's chugging a bit here, guys. There we go. The crypt is here. Are you Not stop? now. Why can't we take these now? Fuck you. Let's hope the caretaker isn't around. That man gives me the creeps. Let's just kill him. Alright, family crypt. It's gonna be like one of the nicer ones, right? Because we're loaded. This door is locked, but I must get in. Oh my god. Maybe I can find something around here to break the lock. You mean the thing I tried to pick up seven seconds ago? These are perfect for breaking the lock. I should hurry before the caretaker comes back. This is gonna be a, this is gonna be horrible. It's gonna be really horrible. This. Fuck. We're gonna perform a really, really, really late term abortion. Everyone takes a side. I find myself siding with my family, but I'm not sure whether it is right. Enough. I can't go on like this any longer. I can't go on pretending nothing happened. My family was slaughtered by these dirty Nazis. My daughter wasn't even buried and I had to bury that half-blood instead. An Italian family that got cosy with the dirty Germans. Bastards, this is our family. That's what they are. What am I supposed to do with my life now? I want to end it, but not without taking a few Germans down with me. You won't see me anymore. But you will hear about me. Long live the resistance. Viva Italia. Oh, a new camera skin. Wonderful. Just what I needed. Why did we come in here? Instructions for the automatic telephone machine. For example, if you wish to call the number 0573, pick up the telephone from the hook and bring the receiver to your ear. You will hear a continuous tone. Firstly, place your index finger in the hole displaying the number zero. Turn the disc clockwise until it I know stops. how to use a phone! Let the disc return freely to its resting position. Repeat the same steps for the numbers 5, 7, 3. Where does he have a manual on how to use a phone? One of these must be our family crypt. I don't know which one though. This one. I can see why we were scared as children. It's a rather gloomy place. All right, sis, where are you? I, I'm very sorry I have to do this. Yeah, we're definitely pro pro the German side, our family. She looks pretty good mixed though, really, all things considered. May God forgive me for what I'm about to do. I also pray that you, Martha, will forgive me. So this is a really unpleasant scene, guys, so be ready.
Okay. Now the family will think you're completely sane. Hi, I'm your auntie. Oh my fucking god. Martha was pregnant. Pregnant with a deformed fetus with two heads. What the fuck? Twins again. They always said that it ran in the family. I was all the more shocked. I was doing things that I had never done before. I do not know what force was moving me. I became unstoppable. I decided to photograph the horror as evidence to show my mother and to everyone. Who knows why? Just don't move, all right? We just got to get that. We got to get the perfect lighting for this. Scene, right? Enough now. I will torture you no longer. I will come back to fix you, and I will stay and take care of you. We will spend so much time together. I love you, Martha. Doctor, I must thank you for your help. I wouldn't know what to do without you. Even our own dear Donatilio seems to not understand the situation. What's going on? Irena, please, consider the idea of leaving Italy as your husband suggested. It would be better for everyone, especially for the girl. I fear that nothing will make her better. Her father doesn't want to accept it. I believe that hope is long gone. I agree, but in Germany there are better treatments in specialized clinics. The asylum is a temporary solution, just to ensure that she doesn't do anything foolish. But it's a nightmarish place. You know that, that all too well. You cannot possibly want this for your daughter. Of course I don't. But what can I do? She is a danger to herself, to us, to everyone. One of Eric's guns has also disappeared. She must have taken it. Who else could it have been? I am so scared, Doctor. I cannot wait any longer. Also, you know what they think of Italians in Germany, don't you? But you would be with Erich, an esteemed general. Everyone will respect you. That cursed girl. Where could she be? Let's hope she doesn't play any more foolish stunts. <sighs> I'll wait for her here, in the cellar. Sooner or later, she'll go to the dark room. That's for sure. Oh, fuck. I would gladly stay and keep an eye on her. But I must rush to town to organize the We're last few things mom. for her hospitalization. Thank you, Doctor. Don't worry. We'll see you later. Oh, but well, this might just be a cutscene. She's sleeping. I must take advantage of this. I will make her talk. She will reveal the truth out of fear. She thinks I can be silenced by calling me crazy. But unbeknownst to her, I will record everything. Everyone will know what you have done to your own daughter. Okay, first of all, we need to develop this picture. Too much noise oh, okay, I can't up. develop the picture yet. Am I gonna just tie her up or some shit? Like, what am I meant to be doing here? Can't use either of those. Oh, the recording thingy, yeah. That makes sense. So we record her talking. This is going to go really fucking bad. This is going to be a fucking disaster shit show. I'm beginning to wonder if she did, didn't do it and we're just delusional as fuck. Now and someone else did. Or maybe Martha confess. killed herself. You can bet on it. What are you doing, my daughter? Oh, Why Jesus. do you want to ruin your life? I'm sorry. It wasn't me who just shot mummy. It wasn't me. What? What? I didn't do anything. 
Oh my god, we're just insane! Dear God, what have I done? We're just she nuts! She forced me. She killed Martha. But who in the world will believe me now? Oh my fucking they god! They take me to the mental asylum. Those rolls of film are my only hope. Okay. Develop the rolls of film. So that's who had the keys to my childhood bedroom. I could have guessed. Well, no one else is here, so we've probably got a bit of time to like, you know. Oh fuck, okay. That was my fault, wasn't it? <laughs> my god, sooner or later more bombs will land here. Then everything will come to an end. Damn, the power is out. Oh, it's fuck. Impossible fuck! To develop that roll of film. How do I get the power back on? Can I get the power back on? Develop the photo. We still haven't known. Uh, open my happy room. That's fine. Develop the photo of the fetus. I have no idea. I have no idea how we're going to get the power on again. At least now I finally have okay. the keys to my let's old go to room. My, let's go to our old room. But why was it locked in the first place? Oh, you didn't read the newspaper. Let's have a quick let's have a quick browse, right? In the pitch black. The New Zealanders conquer Tavernelli. In the eastern sector of the battlefront, the troops of the second New Zealand Division, British Eighth Corps, conquer Tavernelli. The sixth South African Armoured Division advances on the heights near Greve, conquering the peaks of the Domini and Philly Mountains. The 4th Division reaches San Giovanni. Bombings. Damage caused by the bombings between Florence and Siena continues to increase. After the disaster at Poggibonsi, rubble and power cuts are the order of the day. Attack on Hitler. After an attack carried out by a group of traitors, Hitler's words are... In having escaped, she doesn't I care that she's called him on the tour, does she? incumbent on me to continue my work. She seems pretty calm. Sabotage Just the newspaper. of the phone lines in La Romola. Telephone cables have been cut, causing danger to general safety. Any damage to the information service facilities is punishable by death. We are so fucked. There's no way we're getting out of this. Yeah, let's try the generator. It's actually worth a shot. Um, everything's going fine over there. Well, the generator seems to still be on. I guess it's for something else. Yeah, I can't interact with this at all. Well... Never mind! Guess we're gonna just go to our room. I think the cow's dead, to be honest with you. Doesn't look too hot, to be honest with you. Things are definitely coming to a conclusion here, though, guys, so, uh. Jesus. Hit the church as well. We don't have an objective to find a generator, so I'm going to leave it for now. We're going to go in here. Finally, I can enter my room. Oh. Conveniently, there's a light in here. I think this is meant to be like this at the moment. It's like being a child all over again. I used to play with the puppets by reenacting what was happening in my life. To clear my mind. Put the blood on our hands. I want to do it again. At the beginning of any puppet act, there was always the legend of the White Lady. Otherwise, the scenes I was reenacting were worthless. According to an ancient legend, the lakes of the area are haunted by the spirit of a young woman who was killed by the man she loved. A lover's nightly tryst by the lake. So much hope and desire, but death, not love, was awaiting her.
Oh, we have different things we can do here. Ah, oh, what a beautiful moon tonight. Well, this isn't crazy at all. My love is not here yet. I'll wait. Move the puppet within the theater to unlock a new action. You're here at last. There we go. What's going on? Why are you acting weird? I know you kissed another. I know you kissed another. I never would do that. I love you. I would never do that. I love you. I love you too much. The thought of you with another drives me insane. That's why you have to die. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What did I do to you? What a lovely story that she's hinged her entire life around. In despair, the man confessed he had killed her out of jealousy. All right. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> this is quite a detailed puppet show. I used to have a puppet theater when I was a kid. I used to put like on shows and shit that I thought were really fun. They were probably awful though, but no one ever watched them except like my mum. So yeah. they searched everywhere, but the girl's body was never found. Since then, her spirit, known as the White Lady, takes the life of a young woman. Whenever events take her back to that sad day. Let's wash the clothes in the river where nothing bad can happen at all. I wouldn't wash it in that water, it looks shit. Now I can begin. First of all, let's clarify what happened the night before. Hang on, the curse we're reenacting the murder now? July. They say the war will be over soon. Oh, cause, yeah. That's, it was, that says Dad we're, says okay. we're losing. What will happen if we do? And how the fuck did she speak? Because she was pretending to be mute still at this point, right? I was so confused. Will we go to Germany? to come with me to the lake tomorrow. Oh, she's signing. Okay, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. I want to take some photos. Let's go at dawn. Mummy sleeps heavily anyway. You know she's been taking that medicine.
Wake me up. Okay. Did you see Lapo yesterday? Did you see Lapo yesterday? So he wants to swap the beds and make things even more confusing. Yeah. She can't confuse the mother. Did you come up with this on the fucking spot? Sure, great idea. Let's go to sleep. Yes, it happened like this. Then in the morning, Martha went to the lake pretending to be me to show her pregnancy. She knew Mother was going to follow her down. Now I can only guess what happened when they I, met I still don't lake. know if the mother did it or not. Like, I think she looks sus, right, sure. But maybe something else happened? Like, we don't know. She's got to show the pregnancy. That's why she's getting undressed. So you are pregnant. Your sister was right. Okay. What do you want from me? How dare you talk to me like that? This is so confusing. I, I've no, I mean, we don't know what happened here. We're just suppositioning. Well, at least I had fun. I'll punish you for this. That sounds like the mother. Try, I dare you. Okay. Dum, 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 dum. This might happen. All right, we're going to continue then. I will never know exactly what happened, but I think I have an idea. Why is that mother's corpse naked? I shot my mother. No, 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 I didn't shoot. What actually happened? It is all in my mind, but I can remember. I know I can. I'm pretty sure we shot her. What the fuck is going on here? We're breaking our mum's puppet. In fact, the fact we have a, a puppet of our mum is weird. This is so fucking a strange. Small leg. Did we cut her up into bits as well? And we didn't realise. And another little arm. What is happening? Another small leg. I think we definitely dismembered our mother. Oh look, only the head is left. And take them off and clean up. No one will suspect a thing. Mm. 
This must... I, I saw a body, though. When we left the room, her body was lying on the floor. I'm so confused at this point. And we, what? Hang on. We dumped the body in the river? Are we burying it? Oh, no, we're just... <laughs> Take mother's oh my god. Is this is this something we actually did? Did we do this? I was under the bridge. Oh my god! But, but it was Oh my god, we are fucking insane! This, however, is not a game. I was just playing. It's just a bad joke. We are so fucking under ill. The bridge. The church. Town. Speak. The white lady. We are really genuinely deeply, deeply ill. I got an objective, the head, but I can't look, look at my objectives right now. Which is a bit weird. I, I guess we'll take it under the bridge and see. We can just lob it into the well. This is what she would have wanted. Oh, that's jiggling around, Jesus. Oh, here we go. Should probably finish the job, right? Develop the photo. We've got to develop the two photos still, which we have yet to do because we couldn't get near the dark room. And now the power's out, so we're equal. We're doubly fucked. The film in the dress. How do we get the power back? That's all we've got are these three objectives. We don't have anything else. Take a picture of the dead mum. Why not? Something to remember her by, huh? There you go, guys. We can't bury her, and we can't take the lantern. Maybe the power will have come back on or some shit? I don't fucking know. Yep, power's back on. Back. Yep. Now I can develop the role and hopefully have my questions answered. She's so chill! She's like completely fucking insane. This is amazing. This is where we find the truth, guys. This is the moment of truth. This is what we've been building up to the entire fucking game. I'm going to develop it last. I'm going to develop the pictures of our mother in the grave and the fe and the feeders first, okay? And then I'll develop the final one, okay? We all fair? For the big reveal. Develop this photo, first of all. We're heading for the big reveal, guys. There we go. Picture of our mum to remember her by. All right, next one.
A touching mother and daughter picture for the whole family to remember. <laughs> Perfect. I will return to you, Martha. Together we will sort out everything. Just you and I. All right, let's that story. Let's that quest finished. Now the moment of truth, guys. Who the else was at the fucking lake that day, or was there anyone else? Did we just kill her like a complete fucking lunatic? This is the one. This is the picture. This is the one that matters. That looks like some a mum hitting her in the head. To be honest with you, but we'll see. Here's the moment of truth. I can't control this one. I hear someone coming. Someone's outside the room. Is that oh God? It's so her. It's true. She did it. I killed my sister. I did everything to hide the truth. We and did I it. My mother to rid myself of the guilt, but she was nasty and everything was her fault. God, what does that make me? It makes you a double murderer. I don't deserve to live a second longer. Maybe I will see her again, and I can try and ask for her forgiveness. But if there is nothing after death, at least I will be free from this suffering. Well, that's probably the end of the game, guys. Right, but I can't do this anymore. I fired instinctively at that soldier, hitting him right in the head. But it was not a good idea. He obviously didn't come alone. When the others came in, I closed my eyes. I heard a lot of commotion and then felt a sharp pain in the stomach. They were kicking me while another tried in vain to convince himself that the soldier on the ground was still alive. They hit me in the ribs, the back, and the stomach. I couldn't breathe, and at the same time I felt the need to vomit. They were ordered to put me on a seat. They bound me up so tightly that I couldn't feel my hands or feet. Are we gonna get away with it? Are we gonna get away with it? me was my father. He was breathing, but he appeared to be unconscious. The guy in charge started asking me questions. He kept hitting me in the face and head with some kind of short cane. Oh, Jesus. It was so violent, I thought my skull would crack open. All I could taste in my mouth was blood and broken teeth. I ran my tongue across my teeth, thinking to myself that I'd never be able to smile again. A frivolous thought, perhaps, but a painful one nonetheless. Part of my top lip was cut open and was hanging down. Lovely. I foolishly tried to put it back in place using my tongue and lower lip. I threw up. They forced me to confess that my father had been carrying out all kinds of activity within the German army. Of course, I didn't know anything about it, so I tried to explain. But those punches. I would have done whatever it took to stop them. Whatever it took. Just after I told them what they wanted to hear, the general said, All it took were two slaps and you sold out your father, you German whore. Then he ordered my father to be executed. It took less than a moment. He didn't even move. He pointed to one of the soldiers, and then he pointed to me. My time had come. I think we're going. We're they going all left here. except for the soldier who had the unpleasant task of finishing me off. I wanted to die. How, how are we narrating this? Terror engulfed me. I could almost hear the sound of my body evacuating. I had the gun pointed to my forehead. I couldn't look at his face. I stank. I felt indecent. 
Then he moved the gun on purpose and shot without hitting me. He had taken pity on me. It must have been my fate not to die. Oh my god, we get away with it! We get away! To the ground, saying out loud, It's done. The German whore has been dealt with. Oh my god! I was left motionless on the ground. He left, and I fainted again. Oh my god, we got away with it! Go away with all this shit. When I came around, I did not know what to do. I was completely empty and felt pain everywhere. Everyone was dead. I was now alone in the world. I felt a desire to hear their voices one last time on Daddy's recorder in the dark room. Provided the soldiers hadn't destroyed it, that is. Now I will wake her up and she will confess. You can bet on it. What are you doing with your father's gun? Oh, this it's is what happened. Stop it. Talk. Tell me everything now. Tell me what you have done. Okay, okay. Calm down. I will tell you everything. I found that strange note when I woke up, and I immediately realized that something was wrong. Something was up with you, aside from your usual quirks. I came to check that you weren't in your bedroom. You had spoken about the lake, and I got worried, so I called your father, and we went to see what was going on. We found you sitting in your underwear at the side of the lake. You kept saying that nothing had happened, and you kept repeating things like that. I hugged you to try and make you feel better, but... You did not speak again for days. What is happening to you? You should tell me what's going on. I'm not going to that loony bin. I would never have wanted this, but I'm afraid you will harm yourself further. You were really hurting yourself in front of the piano that night. What else could we do? You killed my sister and now you're afraid because she doesn't I found have a sister. Out. So you're making up stories, aren't you? But I'm not falling for it this time. What are you saying? Your sister. Please, no. I was not well. We don't I have a sister. So many years have passed. You were little then. I thought everyone had forgotten that nonsense. Shut up. Don't speak. Don't say anything else. The medicine's Why hers. My daughter. Why do you want to ruin your life? I'm sorry. It wasn't me who just shot mummy. It wasn't me. I didn't know who I was anymore. Everything had fallen apart. I was afraid of myself. My God, it was terrible. I had always been convinced that I was too good for myself, but then I had become my own enemy. I was the danger. What should I have done? It's probably multiple personalities, yeah. I thought about yeah. the puppet theater in my old room. There I could find something in myself, perhaps. So I rushed to go play with it again. They said the soldiers left my bag in the basement. I want to grab my bag quickly, wherever the fuck that is. But it's really fucking dark, and I can't see anything. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Yeah, we, 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 we are just incredibly, incredibly ill. Like, we're just a very ill individual. They've ransacked everything, which I'm not surprised by, but... She did something that was a kid that got her sister killed. That's a possibility, yeah. Hang on, I wanted to go in the room before I use the phone or anything. Yeah, this. I went past it. Here we go. Puppet show. This is very like the Korean movie, A Tale of Two Sisters, actually, yeah. Massive spoilers for Mummy nearly sisters, died though, giving birth to me. This is what remains in my memory of my mother's, nanny's, and father's stories. I remember little to nothing of my childhood at home. I have to try, though. 
Maybe the important events I should know are right there. Good Night Mommy is an Aus well, I don't know about this, the original is an Austrian movie, uh, and it's really fucked up. I don't know if there's an American remake, probably is. How are you, madam? I feel a sharp pain. Do you need anything? I can feel it! The time has come. Quickly, fire out the window. Uh -huh. Got a towel. Shove it in there. Make sure it can't get out. That's what you do, right? Everything is ready. Help! Something is wrong! It is help! Irene is not well. Oh, I've got to beat Eric. How are you, honey? I'm getting weaker and weaker. Use telephone. Doctor, hurry! Arena is sick! The doctor is here, guys, don't worry. To save the day. Don't worry, Irene. The pain you feel is natural. Push, Irene, push. Oh, God. Give birth. He just flies out and decapitates him. <sighs> what? What? I don't understand this minigame. Oh, I see. Oh my uh, god, I almost killed the baby. Uh, uh, Out we come. The baby is born. I feel sick. I feel myself wasting away. It's going to be okay. Your child's just really fucking awful. Poor mummy. She has suffered so much. I have hurt her so much ever since I was born. Pet the papilla. Oh, we know the dog. Something bad happened to the dog, right? And she blocked it out. Did she? Does she kill the dog? She's gonna kill the dog. She's gonna kill the fucking dog. Uh, mummy, I'm hungry. I don't fucking know. Mummy, I'm hungry. No, it's not meal time, you little nuisance. She's gonna kill the fucking dog. Mummy, I have to pee. What am I supposed to do about it? You're unbearable. Mummy, I'm sleeping. I don't believe her mum was like this at all after all this. This was all in her head. You can't sleep now. Mummy, I'm thirsty. That's enough! Go to your room! <sighs> Get out of my sight! I can stand you no longer! <coughs> ah! How dare 
dare you! I will make you pay for that! My hands are not enough! You need to learn properly this time! Sorry, it was an accident, Mummy! Please don't hit me! What the fuck is that? Oh, it's the cane. Sorry, it was an accident, Mummy! Please don't hit me! It's possible the mum was like this, and that caused the Dumb. issues. Oh, I see! Oh, Dumb. I see! So her mum did cause it. Her mum did cause it. Her mum was like this. Her mum like had a like had like problems, and and caused damage to her. Fuck! This is just a game. Is it only a game? I believe the white lady said that my lost memories would return in the place of my happy childhood. This is the only place I have ever been truly happy. Are these my memories then? Is this actually my life? We're gonna kill the dog. We're gonna kill the fucking dog. Oh, so this is after we had the trauma, so we've got blood all over ourselves. My darling, Mummy loves you so much. Julia, play with your sister. This bit I don't understand. Like, there wasn't... Was, was there two of them or not? Martha, don't you want to play with your sister? So she's being really nice to Martha and terrible to, uh... What is going on? Martha spilled water on my head. Stop complaining or you will get punished. This is a bit confusing. Sorry, Mummy. I didn't do it on purpose. I don't believe you. You're trying to make fun of me. So this is like her mum on meds and off meds? Is this, do you think this is the case? It you might be. You did it on purpose. And that's caused like her to have this like, to say for yourself? personality disorder as a result. Of like the mixed messages that she's getting, you know? It's all Martha's fault. I don't believe you. I saw that. You think you're so smart. I feel this needs to wrap up soon. This is going on a bit now. That's not true. You didn't see me, liar, liar. Liar? To whom? Now let's see what happens to you. Come with me now. Um, uh, what is this? Sorry, Mummy. I'm so sorry. Come with me. This is fucked. I will put you in your place, girl. Is she gonna feed her the dog? Sorry, Mummy. I won't do it anymore. I promise. Too late. These false tears won't help you. Or is she going to pour scalding water on her? <laughs> oh my god, this is fucked. Help! 
Oh no! Oh no, guys! Oh no! Oh god, no! Oh god! Now I'll make you want to bark! Oh my god! Leave my dog alone! Oh no, this is so fucked! There's no point screaming! Oh my god! Shit! No, mummy, please! I'm glad I killed her. I'm glad I shot her. I'm glad I shot her. I'm, gl I'm glad I shot You're her. You're insane! She's gonna sure. feed him to us. Now I'll show you how insane I am! Yep. Help, Daddy, help! Screaming won't work. Your father is not here like usual. The mother had severe mental health issues and it caused her to do really fucked up shit and that on turn knocked onto her daughter. Eat it. The mum enabled the dual personality, right? I said. You know what? It. Ma you know. You know. You know what made me feel made me angry though. Like the mum when she was begging for her life was like, "Oh, you mean that silly little incident? Like, this is not a silly little incident. Like, it's almost like she had no guilt for what happened at all. Like none." I was beginning to remember, but I was so scared to remember too much, especially all at once. I didn't have time to guess exactly what happened. It was making me too upset. Pulling out those memories was like trying to pull out a tooth on your own. Almost impossible, and far too painful. The white lady told me that the church is a safe place and home to Isn't its Isn't it blown children. up? Donatilio, my priest. I have to talk to him. I have to call him on the telephone. Okay. I was going to say, our, our, our church is, like, fucked. 6938. This needs to end soon, or it's going to get stupid. speaking who is it father help me they're all dead daddy mummy everyone julia come to me immediately don't stay alone it's dangerous come to town you can stay here with me and we can talk about everything okay okay father but first i want to play with my puppets for a while julia don't be silly come to church right away I don't want to play with the puppets anymore. I'm sick of the fucking puppets. I understand why they're doing it this way, but I just... Oh. Well, I can't play with the puppets anymore. I guess we're just going to the church. Thank fuck for that. Go to San Casquiqui. I don't even know how to say it. Thanks to the heroic assistance of Martha Kay, daughter of General Eric Kay. A mission devised by the partisans to steal weapons from the German army has been put to a stop. The same animals were involved in the killing of the general's other daughter, Julia Kay, and in an attempt to murder young Martha herself, 
The vile traitors were executed on the spot. Justice has been served for Italy, for Duce the second. I don't want to view... Would you like to view the censored version? No. Those boys... Another way, none of the other chapters had a warning, by the way. Fault. They were my age, and a few of them were our friends. I didn't think it would go like that, but wasn't it obvious, really? What was I actually expecting? I felt like a coward. But what could I have done? Should I have betrayed my father? I loved my father. I didn't do that though. I did the opposite. Lapo. Which side was I on? I just listened to my heart. I thought it was the right thing to do. I helped them. But instead, it was the worst thing I could have done. I guess it got them caught. I don't. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking understand. Maybe. It, maybe that was a glitch. I don't know. I didn't go anywhere near the soldiers, Germans or allies. They had all caused me harm. I didn't want to approach anyone for any reason. Uh, was it the wrong flag? That might have been it. Once I crossed that threshold, I completely lost touch with reality. Everyone around me had died while I survived everything. What is going on? Well, this is going really well for us, huh? I don't remember how things went. I just remember a big light and then photographs were being taken of me. There was a man dressed in white, a doctor I presume. He was asking me questions, but I didn't understand what he was actually asking me. He wrote something on a piece of paper and then I think we're in the asylum. two nurses led me away. I was in the mental asylum. Some women were talking to themselves, others cried. Some were even covered in their own filth. Others were violent and tried to hurt themselves any way possible. There was this one young woman who would pleasure herself all day long. Incessantly, to the point where she would leave. Okay, maybe not. So they would tie her down to the bed screaming cursing and talking gibberish for days on end. Once her wounds had healed and she was untied, she would just start again. That woman was me. Oh. They started to give me injections. What oh. they gave me made my whole body shake. I broke my vertebrae and an ankle. I think it was called cardiazole or something like that. My body was like a fire that didn't want to be put out. When it appeared to be quenched, it would come back, even stronger than before. In the end, though, they won. I stopped screaming and masturbating. I stopped thinking. There was no longer any need for therapy. Something inside of me had died. But nevertheless, I insisted on carrying along this painful journey. I was stronger than I could ever have imagined. Well, this is... This is just a shit show, isn't it, really? Let's be fucking honest.
Who are you? Wait, wait. I want answers. Don't go away. Talk to me about Martha, please. Martha does not exist. She never existed. She's just a figment of my imagination. Impossible. I remember her. I loved her. I have to accept it. Martha never existed outside of my mind. It's pointless denying this truth. It's extremely painful. And Mother? Is she alive? I don't know if mother's alive or dead because I don't... Uh, how, um, I'm going to say Mommy she's dead. Mummy is dead. Nobody knows that better than I do, unfortunately. Like, it's, it's like what can, whatever canon you make it is what happens, I guess. Did I do what I think I've done? Yes, damn it. It really happened. I cut her into pieces and buried her under the bridge. God, all that blood. My God, I knew it. What about Daddy? The soldiers, did that really happen? I think that did happen, yeah. It happened. He was shot right in front of me. Fear, pain, shame. I can't remove it. I cannot relive it either. Unfortunately, I knew that already. What about Nanny? Poor Nanny. She really had nothing to do with it. But she died in our villa due to the bombings. We saved ourselves for some time by taking refuge at her house. Privileges for being rich. Feelings don't count for much, though. My poor Nanny. I'm afraid to ask about Lapo. Lapo is dead. He was blown up by a landmine. He got into trouble and paid with his life. My dear friend. Poor boy. Just as I remembered, unfortunately. One last question. The pregnancy? I was pregnant. I was pregnant. Yeah, but that's why she had, had all the blood that time early on. So much blood that morning. And my mind decided that things had gone differently. Who knows what else I was hiding. That's enough now. All of these questions are pointless, aren't they? It's all inside of us. We just need to turn the mirror. Is it not all just the reflection of an unknowable existence? Nothing more than a puppet show. Ready for everything with open arms. Even ready to kill. Legs always ready to run. The womb that conceived in sin. This is going to be really bad. Lastly, the mind. To protect us, it has turned us into monsters. Either way, we cannot live like this, can we? I'll take care of it. I don't need to worry. I'll try to sleep if I can. 
I've got this. Guys, just be ready. This is going to be really, really horrible. All right. If this scene has a warning and all the others don't, Jesus Christ. On the 26th of July, San Casciano was bombed and the church was destroyed. But I was not there then. I was already in the asylum. Once again, stubbornly, I was not dead. The bombs hadn't killed me, and I had also survived myself. The most absurd test and the hardest one. The war ended some time ago now, both out there and inside of me. I was on the wrong side of the gate, but now I can turn that page. Life is opening its doors again, isn't it? If I hadn't been so lucky to survive myself, I would have thrown everything away. We think that danger is all around us, ready to attack. But the more devious and misleading dangers are the ones that are inside of us. They grow without us realizing. They make us suffer, remain confused, and remove our self-respect. I would have wanted to ask for help, but I was alone. This is my story. Thank you for being here, for listening to me. Now I am ready to leave. How long will it take to get home? That might be it, guys. Fortunately, that it's possible to ask for help and receive it, even if we are alone, even if we are desperate. It feels like life doesn't make sense. It feels there's nothing left for us, it's only because we can no longer see it. There's always something to live for. Something great could be just around the corner. I quite liked this overall. Like, there's definitely some flaws with it, and it falls into like the trap a lot of horror games do, where it's like it's really non-committal, and you don't really know what's happening. You know what I mean? Like, I know you can choose what's happening. But like I like I like things to be a bit more definitive, and it does get like a bit artsy and drag a lot at the end. But generally speaking, this was a lot better than the Town of Light, mainly because it wasn't like just littered with rape from beginning to end. That that's uh, one of the reasons it's a lot better. It had a better story. It looks nicer. The characters were much more interesting and empathetic. Um, the the game as a overall had an interesting premise, um, and there were things. There was plenty of things I liked about it, but. Um, I don't know if it's a particularly, like, healthy take on what it's like to be mentally ill. Uh, I, I, I don't... There, there obviously are really crazy people out there, but, like, I don't know, like... I'm not... I'm not I wasn't entirely comfortable with where it sat things, if that makes sense. Um, but overall, not a bad game. Um, I give it, like, a, a 6.5, maybe a 7. It was definitely vis uh, visually disturbing. Probably just for the sake of being visually disturbing, if I'm perfectly honest with you, but, you know, it was quite interesting to see those scenes, like, I think the last scene had a warning just because it was suicide, because they didn't put a warning on the fucking fetus removal, so, you know, uh, even though the fetus removal was by far the most unpleasant sequence in the game, uh, I'm not even gonna just what I just saw on screen then, but, like, uh, it's, it's alright, like, it's not, it's not, like, a, a, a terrible game, and, um, you know, uh, yeah, I've got 88% of the stuff in the game, and that took me 5 hours, 10 minutes. That's quite short. Like, I saw a lot of reviews say this was 10 hours. There's no fucking way it's 10 hours. Like, it's like 9 if you do everything. You know what I mean? And that's it. Because I did a bunch of shit. Anyway, um, I'm going to stop recording this now, uh, and it'll be put up on YouTube. Just, uh, probably, uh, def or definitely without any ads, let's put it that way. Stopping recording now.